Welcome to today's stream for the big one. This is a big one, ladies and gentlemen. This is D23, uh, and today we're getting Marvel, we're getting Star Wars, and we're getting 20th Century Fox, which would probably be a lot of the Avatar stuff uh, and maybe some other secret stuff. You know, I know they've been working on an Alien TV show with Noah Hawley and, and all the different franchises they absorbed from Fox. So I'm expecting to get my mind blown uh, in the next uh, 23 minutes or so. Uh, let me put up a little timer uh, to let us know when things are starting. So first and foremost, shout out to every single one of you all joining me on this Saturday. Marvel fans, Star Wars fans, Fox fans fans to everyone out there supporting today's live stream i appreciate every single one of you all uh just a quick little friendly reminder if you're joining in make sure you're giving the video a thumbs up it goes a long way it helps out the algorithm you know unfortunately i'm not in uh you know anaheim covering this live but one day one day we will be there but uh give the video a thumbs up share the video and this is live so throw in your since we got 22 minutes uh your your predictions your 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 hopes uh trailers casting announcements directors uh what do you think we're gonna get from marvel from star wars and of course 20th century studios let me know as we're going along and who knows man maybe if we have enough people that want to join the conversation i can uh, share the link maybe as once things kind of roll out and you all can give me your two cents besides just in the comments obviously you can come into the stream yard and let me know how you all are feeling about all these i anticipate this to be craziness uh as far as especially for marvel uh and and star wars fans and i'm one of them I'm excited to see and hear more about the casting of Ahsoka, uh, a little bit more of Andor, uh, what's going on with the Acolyte. We got some new casting there. Uh, what is it? The um, the Skeleton Crew, the new John Watts and, and uh, Jude Law show and, and whatever other shows. I don't think we're going to get any movie announcements for Star Wars, but, you know, there's a Taika film. There's the Kevin Feige produced film. Uh, of course, there's the Ryan Johnson trilogy out there. So I'm expecting some big news from them. And like I said, 20th Century Fox, I definitely expect to get a lot of a lot of blue people <laughs> as far as Avatar goes. Probably a new trailer, teaser, uh, concept art, more of the story. I definitely anticipate to get that. And then again, pivoting over to Marvel. Listen, there's a lot of empty spots in that phase six, y'all. And I think we're going to get a lot of those announcements. You know, Black Panther, a Koye series. We're going to get that Daredevil, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Deadpool 3 announcement potentially. Uh, the cast of the Fantastic Four. Who's directing Avengers Secret Wars? What's going on with Shang-Chi with, with uh, Daniel Dustin Critton directing uh, the Avengers King Dynasty? Young Avengers, X-Men. Dr. Doom. I mean, listen, man, there's, there's a lot that's going on. And of course, I expect them to, you know, refresh everyone. And maybe they're going to bring out the cast for the Thunderbolts and maybe get some more information about Daredevil, Agatha, Blade. Ah, it's just so much. It's so much, y'all. But let me say I've been babbling for a couple minutes here. Let me say what's up to everyone showing some love and, and, and stopping by. What's going on? How we doing? Rims, how we doing? My man, Kenny, how we doing, Kenny? Eric, how we doing, my good friend? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, bro, I got two Tylers, I feel. Oh, we were talking about the uh, the comment Eric left there a little bit earlier. We got Meg in the building. What's going on? We got Turner saying, what's up? How we doing today? Doing good, man. Doing good. Very excited uh, about today's uh, announcements. And, and again, just to let you all know, just a little kind of, you know, there won't be any live streams unfortunately well not unfortunately that's why you go to d23 so you can have that exclusivity so they won't be streaming in the announcements like i won't be sharing a screen with kevin feige on stage but what i am going to do is i have my twitter feed pulled up with disney uh d23 i'm following them uh discussing film always gives me the, the, the latest and greatest news so i'm following them so whenever alert happens and never a big announcement happens i'm going to pull it up on the screen and we'll react to it whether that's this is the director for the Fantastic Four officially, Matt Schaffner. This is the cast of the direct of the Fantastic Four. This is a teaser trailer. So once those things drop on Twitter, I'm going to share the screen screen and we're going to react to it live. So that's kind of how we're going to handle that today. Uh, any live footage again that I see on Twitter, I'm going to definitely uh, pull it up and have some uh, discussions and conversations about all the fun stuff here. Zia, how are we doing today? Little Mermaid teaser already gave me life. Beautifully done. Yeah, I saw that trailer last or teaser, like you said. It was um it was it was special. It was special. She sounds beautiful. Um, very excited to learn more about who's a, a part of this project as far as the other cast. I think it's it's been out there. Like I think 
is it Melissa Melissa McCartney? Is she playing um, the villain in the film? Uh, I can't remember all the different casts, but she looked beautiful. She sounded beautiful, and I'm, I'm very excited for it. Uh, perfect time. And, oh, yes, thank you, Kenny. Definitely, everyone give this video a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. We got Maxine. How are we doing today? Uh, we got my man Kevin in the – oh, Kevin. I just want to – I'm putting, uh, listen, man, King Kong, I got nothing on a man of Denzel, Kevin, 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 and everyone watching this live and watching this on the replay again. We appreciate you all. If Denzel, first and foremost, Denzel is my favorite actor of all time. And I don't know, Kevin, are you related? Last name, Denzel Washington. Um, MCU in any capacity, whether that's voice, voicing Galactus, voicing some other character that we might not see him on screen, but they, you know, take his voice or, you know, the better option. If he is literally being brought into the MCU, him as an actor, a la the, the rumors out there is Magneto. Um, I will probably lose my mind on this stream in a good way, obviously. So that would be insane, Kevin, if, if something like that happened. Even, you know, Gene Carlos Espedito has been rumored. Oh, my goodness, man. That would be ridiculous in the best way possible uh, denzel's a future t'challa would be insane Ooh, that would be, yeah i mean we are dealing with variants and and multiverse and we've, we've been talking about it from for the last year or so hashtag recast t'challa i mean that would be um you know again another alternate version just opening that door so there's other t'challas around the world and we know that there's incursions going on in the multiverse so it would make sense that maybe t'challa's world was destroyed and we can get that T'Challa. i mean yeah, we'll, we'll see, Kenny. We will see, my friend. Uh, Ursula, yeah, thank you. I couldn't remember um, her name, but yes. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm anticipating some craziness today, some crazy, crazy craziness. So, again, just to kind of recap, uh, today's panels will be Marvel Studios, Star Wars, and 20th Century Studios. Uh, and, again, I'm anticipating, as far as my Star Wars anticipation, I do anticipate Mandalorian Season 3 trailer, which they did show at, uh, I believe it was Comic-Con. They showed some footage that wasn't released to the public. I'm definitely anticipating that to be released today because it's coming out in February. So in five months, Mandalorian Season 3 will be upon us. So I anticipate a, a trailer to be shown today. And, actually, I think they're going to release it to the public. Uh, as far as I'm not, and I'll be honest with you all, I'm a Star Wars fan, but my, my fan them stops at the movie so i don't i haven't really dove into the animated side of it so you know bad bad batch season two will probably be have some announcements um there's some other disney projects that they announced as far as star wars some other animated shows um what was the visions they're doing a season two for that kind of like a what if of the star wars universe which i think is pretty cool so but again i haven't really dove into rebels and all those different shows that they have on the animated side as far as movies go i don't think they're gonna really give us any movie announcements i think they're gonna save that stuff for their um you know what is the star wars panel star wars celebration they're gonna probably save that for next year for the movies because i don't think any of the movies are going into production anytime soon the taika watiti project um the kevin feige produced project which they haven't i think they've said that those are two separate films they're two separate they're not working together on that so i don't think we'll get any movie news but if we do i would anticipate those will be the news like this is the title of the taika waititi film this is the the um the story that kevin feige is going to tackle that he's going to produce and maybe they say <laughs> what they bring up ryan johnson that would destroy the internet because i know there's still not enough time separated between the the separation of fandom with the uh, last jedi so I don't anticipate news that would be cool. Uh, but as far as TV shows go, like I said, Mandalorian season three, the Soka show, they're going to announce because I think it was um, said yesterday that they had talked about um, they hired or casted uh, Ezra, which again, I don't watch Rebels. I don't watch Clone Wars. So Ezra to me, I've heard he's a cool character, uh, but I don't know much about him. So that's exciting for everyone that knows about Ezra. But I heard that they cast him yesterday. Uh, Sabine's been casted months ago. Um, so I'm definitely anticipating to get maybe a teaser from Ahsoka and I'm really looking forward to seeing what's all that about. Cause again, I'm not, when I saw her in the Mandalorian, I, I knew of the character cause she was so big in rebels and so big in clone wars. And I've heard so much about her. So I'm familiar with it to an extent. And of course, Mandalorian season two showed us her live action version played beautifully by Rosario Dawson, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to learning more about uh, that world and what's the the villain's name Thrawn I, I believe correct me for any Star Wars fans that watch those animated shows uh, I, I'm anticipating from what I know that show's going to focus on her rescuing Ezra who was 
taken by Thrawn and they're on the outskirts of the, the galaxy. Again, I might be talking gibberish. <laughs> but again, let me, let me know in, uh, any of those Star Wars fans what you're anticipating for Ahsoka. And then obviously Andor's coming out in a couple weeks. I am so excited for that show, a spy espionage uh, show with just some incredible actors, some great talent behind the scenes. I'm very excited for that. Uh, and then as far as other, what are other projects there? In, oh, The Acolyte. Uh, a man with Stanford who is going to be maybe a Sith, maybe a Jedi. Very big fan of hers. Uh, and then they also announced Jody yesterday. Uh, Jody Smith, who is incredible. I think she is such a great actress. She was so great in uh, Queen and Slim. She was also she she was also in a action movie a couple years ago. She she played a pretty good role in that. It was oh the Michael B. Jordan, Tom Clancy. Help me out in the chat. I can't remember that film, but she was uh, the friend of Michael B. Jordan. I thought she was a badass in that. But I'm very excited to see her in the Star Wars universe uh, and, and see what's all that about. Because apparently the acolyte is about. I believe it takes place a couple hundred years before the you know skywalker saga and it's from the perspective of sith lords like come on yes give me that palpatine uh dark plagueis i want to i want to dive into that world so i'm very excited for the acolyte and then the other i think it's, it's a show yes i don't think it's a movie the jew law john watts um show about the kind of stranger things in space um uh, which i said it earlier the, the name of the show is slipping me it's not wrecking crew it's a skeleton crew uh very excited to learn more about that so i'm expecting some big things from star wars and then of course like i said 20th century fox i think their big thing would be avatar that they're going to really uh showcase because it's a two-hour panel so i would imagine star wars probably has about 45 minutes to an hour marvel do your thing with that hour and then the last you know 15 20 minutes or so probably give that to avatar so yeah man we are 12 minutes away from getting our minds and blue okay because it's going going down uh let's see let's see let's see let me go back to the chat here and see what we got what we got what we got what we got where we at where we at where we at um Eric says, isn't Denzel a bit old for T'Challa? Well, I think what um, what Kevin was referring to, like a variant, like another version, like an older version of the character from an else world. Uh, I think that's what he was referring to. Correct me if I'm wrong, Kevin, if that's what you were meaning by that. Uh, plus, they confirm that they're not recasting the character, right? At least, well, you, you just answered my question, Eric. It's at, at least not in the main universe. And they specifically said, not in the 616 or not recasting T'Challa in the 616, but that doesn't mean, you know, 838 T'Challa and the multiverse, you know, another universe T'Challa. So, I mean, well, I, I doubt that that's going to happen, but again, that's the possibilities. Yep. Thumbs up. What's going on, Tiger? Um, I've been hopeful that Henry Cavill comes. <sighs> hopeful. That's an interesting word that you use there because I'm hopeful that he's going to return to Superman, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. And um, that's my number one hope. But I, as a DC fan, it pains me to say this, but I will completely understand if he wants to go elsewhere and, and share his talents to another company that appreciates him and doesn't shelf him for 10 years. Man of Steel 2 came out June 6th of 2013. Where is the sequel? You know, we got BVS, we got Justice League, but not the proper sequel to the Man of Steel, to my favorite Superman, Henry Cavill. So I would understand if he wants to... You know, Venture, I mean, he's doing his thing on The Witcher. If you guys aren't watching The Witcher, I love The Witcher. He's been doing it, obviously, Mission Impossible. I can't do, you know, I, I'm not buff like him. I can't do the whole motion that he did. Dude's, I love Henry Cavill. I think he's a brilliant actor. Uh, seems to be such a cool dude. I mean, the guy's a nerd to the core, building computers and all that stuff. This, he's one of us, man. I love that. Um, he was a great man from Uncle. I'm just a big fan of Henry Cavill. And seeing him in MCU, I mean, the rumor is... Some and I never saw this. I still don't see this, but some people are saying that he might be Doctor Doom. Uh, hey, he's a great actor, but I don't see him in that role. Uh, but we'll see. Doctor Doom has been out there. Captain Britain is obviously the obvious one. Uh, some people actually said it would be pretty cool to see him as Wonder Man, which I think would be a pretty cool uh, casting as well. Uh, but he's a talented individual. I mean, they could cast him. You know, Wolverine maybe. Uh, I'm very Cyclops. I, I'm very excited to see if this rumor is to be true. Whatever he, he is be uh, to be announced potentially, it would be great. Um, let's see. I think Avatar 2 be excited. Yeah, I'm excited to see more Avatar 2 news. It would be hard seeing Henry Cavill doing anything other than Superman in the comic. Yeah, it would be very, because obviously it's happened, right? We've seen other actors. Chris Evans played Human Torch. He played Captain America. Uh, uh, you know, there's many other examples of that, and I, I can't think of any other ones right now, but I know there's a lot of people that have that crossover between DC, Marvel, 
maybe either smaller independent uh, comic book films. So it's been done. But to your point, Kevin, it's never been done on that scale. Like, could you imagine, of course, you know, Ben Affleck, he was Daredevil in the early 2000s. And obviously he was Batman. But yeah, he's Superman. That would be hard to see him play another actor. But that's that's the point of being an actor is you can be a chameleon and play different you know, character. So, I mean, it'll be hard at first, but I, I will get over it pretty quickly because I think he's just such a talented individual. Um, let's see here. We got Tyree and Rain. What's going on, man? How we doing, Tyree? And hope you're doing well, man. Like I said, guys, listen, this is, a, I, I love talking and having a good time, but something I've been experiment, experimenting with in the last few months is doing the sharing the live stream, uh, stream yard link. So Tyree Kenny, Kevin, um, Everyone, Eric, uh, Meg, Maxine, Zia, you know, everyone, the chat rims, uh, any of you, if any of you all want to join the stream a little bit later, once the announcements start rolling out, let me know, you know, put a, put a one in the chat. If you want to join me a little bit later and share your two, you don't have, you don't have to be here the whole time, like a co-host or whatever, but. If you want to drop in for five, 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, uh, and share your two cents on the announcements, I will let me know. Like I said, in the chat, put a one in the chat if you want to join me later uh, in the stream to discuss these major announcements. Let me know. Let me know. And, and like I said, that goes for everyone in the chat. Uh, and of course, if you're new to the channel, that goes for everyone in the chat. But if you're new to the channel, uh, and again, if you're coming on the stream, much respect to everyone, myself and everyone watching live. And of course, if you have a camera, lighting, all that good stuff, a mic, all that good stuff. So, but yeah, shout out to Tyrian in the building. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't want D and D anywhere near any of those projects. <laughs> uh, Ezra is that duty. Yeah, I've heard. Like I said, I, I'm unfortunately, I haven't explored that side of the Star Wars universe. Uh, again, Rebels, Clone Wars, all that stuff to me. I don't read the comics. I don't read the novels. I don't read the Elseworld stories. I'm just strictly a Star Wars movie fan. So I don't know who Ezra is, but from everything I've heard, he's a pretty cool character. So I'm excited to learn more about him um, from uh, the Soko So. Squid Games actor also, Squid Games, Squid Games. Oh yeah, Squid, yes. Um, I can't think of the actor's name, but yes, he was announced yesterday to be joining the Acolyte as well. Yeah, very, very good point. Uh, without, thank you, Kenny. I couldn't remember the name of it. Yes, that was good. I enjoyed that film. I know it kind of <laughs> literally came and went, but I enjoyed that film, Stranger Things in Space. Yeah, uh, Meg, that's the, I think that was the pitch or kind of the the uh, the elevator pitch, as they call it. They uh, When they announced the show, that's kind of a Stranger Things vibe in space uh, with the, I keep saying Wrecking Crew, but it's the Skeleton Crew. <laughs> and that is um, brought to us by John Watts. You all might remember him from the Spider-Man franchise. He directed all three of those films. He was attached to the Fantastic Four at first, but he left the project Kevin Feige left the project uh, to do the Star Wars project, but I think they want to—they're going to bring John. They—they they have a really good relationship. He'll be back. I, I'm sure John Watts will uh, direct something else in the Star Wars or the MCU. But yeah, uh, the the show is called Skeleton Crew, and it stars Jude Law, and they haven't announced the other cast members, which I would imagine they might bring out the rest of the cast. And don't be surprised, as I said, Stranger Things. Don't be surprised if you see a Stranger Things cast member being a part of this show, a la Millie Bobby Brown. Uh, I don't think Finn Wolfhart, he's been casting too many things, but I can definitely see a Millie Bobby Brown being in, in the Star Wars universe. I think that would bring a whole different fandom to that uh, franchise, a much younger generation to that franchise. I think you can see maybe uh, Joe Curry, who plays uh, my man uh, Steve Harrington. Uh, you know, Maya Hawk would be interesting. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other big names. Uh, <laughs> Joseph Quinn, everyone's favorite character from season four, of Stranger Things, who played, uh, you know, Eddie Munson. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if some Stranger Things cast members might be attached to that project. Um, let's see if uh, Denzel is going to play uh, Star. Oh, that would be dope, Justin. That would be, listen. Anything Denzel would be fantastic. But yeah, if he's anything in T'Challa's world, oh my gosh, man. They can make an older person look young. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, okay, so oh, listen, we got some people that are saying they want to join. I'm getting said, all right, awesome. So, like I said, I'll um uh, it'll be a little bit once the announcements come out, we'll we'll share the stream a little bit later then to get you all in. And yeah, I would love Tyrian, Justin, Tiger, Meg, of course. Yeah, I would love to get you all on the channel. So if you're um like I said, if you're free and good to go, uh, maybe one again, once those announcements starts to roll out, especially for the Marvel panel, which I think, I don't know if they said who's going first, um, but once those announcements roll out, y'all, we will definitely share that link and get a conversation going. So I look forward to that for sure. 
uh what did you think of black adam 2 so actually i did a live stream the other night tyrian um if if i think yeah you've seen you've seen me talk about dc in the past uh i'm a huge dc fan dc over marvel all day for me it was fire bro <laughs> it was fire the visuals were there uh dr fate come on man can i be honest with you all I'm more excited to see Dr. Fate than I am Black Adam. I'm being 100%. I'm looking forward to The Rock. Change the, 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 the what, is, what is this line that he always says about? I can't even remember right now. But very excited to see him in the role. But I am even more excited to see uh, Dr. Fate. Um, but yes, Amanda Waller. It's, it looks awesome. We finally saw uh, Sibic, which is the, the devilish villain. Uh, very interested to see how they handle that character. But yes, man, to answer your question, I thought it was fire. And I'm very excited for that. Um, I would, uh, but I have Johnny type head. <laughs> uh, what's going on, Jake? My man B, Brandon in the building. Yeah, B, like I said, bro, I'm going to share that link a little bit later. I would love to get a panel, uh, maybe a rotating panel uh, to get in here and, and get things going for sure. Very excited for that. Um, let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, we got Coop the bully in the building. What's going on, Coop? How you doing, bro? Hope you're doing well. Um. It's going down, bro. It is going down. Uh, and and T minus three minutes, y'all. Again, I don't know how who's going first. If I was Disney, I would probably do Avatar first. Just get that out of the way. Not that it's, you know, it's a, it's the most <laughs> profitable film of all time, but I would probably do that panel first, do a teaser, do a trailer, bring out the cast, blah, 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 get people excited for that film. Then I would probably do Star Wars for the for the next hour. Ahsoka, uh, well, um, Andor, Ahsoka, uh, um, why do I keep wanting to say Wrecking Crew? Skeleton Crew, Acolyte News, and get that panel going. And then in the show, Marvel, Black Panther, um, Fantastic Four, maybe some X-Men, maybe some Deadpool and end it in that way. So if I, and again, they might do a completely opposite of what I just said and do Marvel first, Star Wars, and then wrap up with Avatar. But I'm, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. But I think it would make sense to have Marvel be last because let's be honest, man, we're all here for Marvel, right? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm excited for the Star Wars stuff, hey, Elliot. Uh, do you think Gore's daughter from Thor, Love, and Thunder is going to be a part of the Young Avengers? Oh. Um, Sure. I mean, why not? We already got the twins, um, Billy and Wiccan. We already got Staley High, uh, uh, Haley, Staley, um, Haley Steinfeld for Kate Bishop. We got uh, Patriot uh, from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Who else have we got there? We got Casey Lang, Cassie Lang, who's going to be an Ant Man as Stature. Yeah, I mean, why the hell not, man? We already got the damn crew, so make, let's make it happen. Um, of course, Elena. Uh, Black Adam looks, yeah, I, bro, come on, man, I can't wait, Jay, can't wait, Justin, this is gonna be, it's gonna be dope, Star Wars, um, this awesome super sponsor, but yeah, man, I'm, listen, bro, Dr. Fate about to steal that whole damn movie, he's, his, his, he's gonna be so dope, they're gonna go ahead, I'm surprised they haven't announced a Dr. Fate film uh, in the future. Right, that's what I think, I think it's, it just makes sense, in with Star Wars, in, um, in with um, Marvel, yeah, a lot of you all agree with me there, yep um all right so final countdown let me go ahead and uh we're just a mere seconds away so let me take this down and stop screen and let's share the twitter feed and let's get this pod is started y'all like i said i'm following disney um i think i'm following disney if i'm, if I'm not let me go ahead and follow them Disney D23. So whenever any major announcements, we'll be getting stuff from Disney. Uh, and of course, my personal favorite is discussing film. They always come with the the fastest and most uh, typically accurate information. So we got quite a few stuff here that we will be checking out. Just in 10 minutes to, to Marvel. Yeah. Okay. So don't, they don't even know the, the order of it yet. So and uh, let me know in the chat too, guys. Who was uh, who who was excited about the the Disney panel, and the Pixar panel? Are you guys looking forward to Little Mermaid? Uh, um, what is it? Dischanted. I, I never saw the first one. But I know a lot of people love that. Hocus Pocus, of course. Mufasa prequel. I don't know about that. I love Barry Jenkins, but mm, I don't know. Uh, when um, the Winnie, not Winnie the Pooh, but. Um, the freak is the name of that. Um, Peter Pan. Uh, let me know if you're excited for that. And what else did they announce? Pixar said Inside Out 2, a couple other 
Pixar movies coming out in, in the next few years. Let me know if you guys are looking forward to all that goodness there. All right. All right. All right. Henry, I don't know if y'all see Henry Cavill. He, he's he's trending right now. I don't know. Where there's smoke, there's fire, y'all. Where there is smoke, there is fire. All right. Let me go ahead and refresh because it is now 12 o'clock. Nothing yet. I would imagine, you know, they're probably everyone's getting situated, it's getting sit, settled down in their seats, getting let everyone know, ladies and gentlemen, please put your phones away or we will kill you. Uh, if we see a phone in your hand, we will dismantle your body. So that's what they're probably doing now, getting everyone situated and uh, getting everyone excited. Sizzle reels, lights dimming down. Listen, one day. You heard it here live. One day your boy will be covering D23 uh, in the future for the channel and having a, a good time doing so. Um, but cool, cool, cool. Let me see who we got. Who we got? We got any other comments here? Hocus Pocus uh, and Little Mermaid look good. Yeah, I haven't seen the Hocus Pocus trailer yet, but Little Mermaid teaser looked fire. Um, no, why do they keep doing? I don't. It's a it's a, it's a cautionary tale, I guess. They just want to keep doing it. But I am excited. The director. David Laurie, I think is his name. Uh, fantastic director. He did one of my he did my favorite film last year, The Green Knight. And he's done a lot of he did um Peach Dragon too, I think. He's a great actor, he's a great director. So I'm 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 more excited for him directing that not that story. And I think I think Jude Law's in that film too, if I'm not mistaken. It's Captain Hook. Uh did y'all see? Yeah, I saw. Oh my gosh, bro. It was it was something. It was something else. How wholesome you can share your Twitter feed with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me, I'm I yeah, I'm not following I me, mean, yeah. I have no, <laughs> no uh, craziness on my Twitter. I'm barely on. Well, I, I shouldn't say I'm barely on Twitter. I don't, I don't engage in Twitter like I do with Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm yeah. My my Twitter feed is pretty, it's like literally all movie stuff. Yeah, I don't really get in, engaged in any of the other stuff on Twitter. Eric, first time I've seen anyone say that. I I am. I let me read your comment here. I'm excited for the Lion King sequel. I think the upside of these remakes is that you can have proper theatrical sequels that are animated versions. Yeah, I don't know, Eric. I, I, I appreciate the sentiment, bro, but I'm not looking forward to it. Now, like I said, I, Barry Jenkins, he's a genius. He's a, a brilliant director, but a Mufasa prequel with, and I think some of it's going to be told in the, in the future of how Mufasa, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. I mean, I might be, you know, eating my words in 2024 but i'm not looking forward to it. i'm excited for toy story 5 but that wasn't so toy story 5 i don't know they they announced they didn't announce toy story 5 kidding what are you talking about bro uh unless i missed something i, I would have thought that would have been the biggest news but um yeah uh let's get you to yeah man one day yes yes manifest yes you're right you're right you're right you're right you're right we'll be on stage uh uh moderating the panel one day we'll see we'll see yeah, I didn't see the latest one. I didn't see the latest one. Uh, Simba's Pride has slept on. Yeah, that was a good sequel. That was a good sequel. Um, all right, let me see. Let me refresh. Let me see if we got any. Henry Cavill, it's Doctor Doom. Um, okay, so it just began. Okay, so look, that's what I'm saying. They, discussing films, they, they, they are on it. So they're saying the panel's just begun. Oh, yeah, my notifications are on. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right, so again, I'm very... Again, I anticipate avatar to be first then star wars and then marvel so i'm that's what i'm hoping to get here let me i forgot to turn on the banner and again shout out to everyone that is in today's stream uh, appreciate every single one of you all it's a beautiful saturday i'm gonna i got some stuff to do after the stream but i appreciate you all tuning in if you haven't already thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up share comment your live thoughts again we will be sh uh, sharing the link a little bit later once the announcements start rolling out to get you all's thoughts on it uh again star wars thoughts marvel thoughts obviously of course avatar thoughts so we'll get that stream link out a little bit later uh and of course anyone that's watching the replay i appreciate you like share comment subscribe if you haven't already um but all right let's see let's refresh i wonder who the first who the first one's out I'm gonna be, and yeah, they're probably still getting everyone together. And I wonder, besides, let me know in the chat, guys. Besides Avatar, what other Disney Disney friendly IP would they would they announce Deadpool with the 20th Century? Because I know he's gonna be Kevin Feige. Already said he's gonna be in the MCU. He's gonna be rated R. But I wonder if. if 
if they're going to put him branch him more with the the you know the 20th century fox or 20th century studios panel so i wonder if no nah, they would they would probably save him for the actual uh marvel panel but who knows who knows but besides avatar let me know in the chat guys who else would be what other movie would be like worthy of a, of a panel besides avatar i can't think of any other things they have adapted unless they announce like tv shows like i said they have the alien ip and i know noah hawley's working on the alien show so i don't know if they would bring that to the panel i doubt it i don't think it has that much um uh, I know it has a huge fandom, obviously, but I don't know if it has that much buzz that they would bring into a Disney um, panel. But we'll see. But I mean, let's be honest. Freaking Avatar is its own panel itself. What software do you use for your show? Uh, this is StreamYard. So StreamYard, one of the more, in my opinion, one of the more easier uh, user-friendly platforms and also for guest purposes all i do is seeing you i'm gonna put the link in the sh in the uh the chat you click the link and it'll just say hey elliot's invite you into stream you got headphones you got a mic and bada bing bada boom you're right in so i think it's one of the more easier ones to uh to use and and and, and um bring guests in on simmer surprise is good yeah simmer surprise is good yeah, yeah, yeah that's a good one that's a good one Am I the only one here for Star Wars? I'm disappointed in Marvel treatment of character T'Challa to kill off the character. Yeah, we've we've had many discussions, May, about uh, recasting T'Challa for sure. So I know where you're coming from on that perspective. I'm still um, still hopeful that the film's going to be great. The trailer was great. So, uh, but as far as Star Wars, yeah, well, I'm, uh, hey, I'm a Star Wars fan too. I mentioned it earlier, May, that I'm not the, I haven't followed the animation stuff. You know, the Rebels and Clone Wars. So Ahsoka, Ezra, Thrawn. Uh, Sabine, all those characters are kind of foreign to me to a certain extent. Uh, but as far as movies go, I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan there. So in the Mandalorian season three, I'm here for it. Ahsoka, um, you know, we got uh, um, Andor coming out in a couple weeks. The Skeleton Crew, Acolyte, I'm, I'm here for Star Wars. So yeah, we're we going to talk Star Wars, man. You best believe, best believe. Uh, let's see. I can see Deadpool being upset that he wasn't. A, yeah, right. I can see Deadpool totally coming up. Like everything's wrapped up. And Ryan Reynolds walks on stage and says, hey, what about me? You know, I got some stuff. Let's see here. Hooked on a feeling is the final song that plays that lights them. OK, so they're still getting things ready. Um, but they should. It looks like everyone's still. Yeah, they got the, like I said. <laughs> See this young woman here. Take it, sit, sit your asses down. Sit your asses down. Find your damn seats. Let's get this party started, y'all. We supposed to start at twelve o'clock, and y'all still walking around. Find your damn seats. We opened the doors ten hours ago, and y'all still can't sit down. <laughs> Shout out to the the workers of of these panels, man. Uh, I follow my man, uh, black uh, gay comic geek Michael. I mean, you know, I follow him on Twitter, and he showed his. Uh, he's at the press. Shout out to him. Uh, he showed. I mean, the scale. I mean, at least has to be like. 5,000 people in this room. So it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. But shout out to, to the workers because I know there's some 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 people that set this panel that probably showed up literally at the time and <laughs> still getting situated. Uh, let's see here. And interesting enough, it's so funny um, talking about like panel access and, and press press access. I don't know if y'all saw... Um, I, I used to follow John Campion a lot back in the day, and I kind of lost touch with his content. And he said some things in the past that I was just like, I, I don't know if I can really watch this guy too much. But I've kind of fallen back into watching his content and watching his show. And I know that John Campia, he was supposed to, he went out to like, and I haven't watched the video yet, but I know he went out to Anaheim, but apparently he wasn't given like press access, which is crazy to me, yo, that uh, someone of that stature and that following wasn't able to get uh, like, uh, uh press access that's wild to me so but either here or there um it's a lot of people there a lot of content creators there that are um going to be covering the show so um let's see the car is out of the bag Elite is going to be the upcoming <laughs> hey man i gotta uh I, I i can't say anything you know marvel might you know they got snipers everywhere bro <laughs> okay so lucas is that is that official that they say lucas is first okay i'm, I'm here for it um, what is this? A new, oh, this is just the park stuff. I don't think this has anything to do with D23. So, um, is that, I didn't see that, Jordan. So, Lucas is first. Okay, I'm here for it. If we can get, uh, Lucas Films, some announcements. Again, Acolyte, I'm here for it. And Andor, I'm here for it. Would you say it's too soon to announce the cat? No, not at all. It, it must, and the reason I say that at all, John, uh, John, 
I'm a firm believer. I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago. I'm a firm believer that we're going to see Fantastic Four and Ant-Man. I think we're going to see, and maybe not the whole team, but I think we're going to see Reed Richards. Uh, Sue. I think we're going to see them much sooner than anticipated. I did a, a whole video on like projects. I think we're going to see them in first. And Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium was on that list. Low-key season two was on that list. Um, what else did I have on my list? Uh, the Marvels because of Monica and her, you know, a uh, 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 doctor or a physicist, whoever she knew, Reed Richards potentially. Uh, and also I think that they might be involved in Agatha's show because if you all have read the comics, Agatha was a babysitter of, um, you know, um, what's the little man's name? It's literally on the tip of my tongue, but she babysitted their, their kids, um, Franklin. She babysitted Franklin. So I can, I can see something maybe like that. So I think we're going to get Fantastic Four before we're going to see them in their own film in 2024. Four in, in November. So you know, let me make sure that's the right date. So I think it's definitely the perfect time to announce them before this. Yeah, 2024, November. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to get the full cast of Fantastic Four today. I don't think it's too early because I think we're going to see them in, in literally a few months. Okay, so my man, uh, jo, who was it that said that? That Lucas was first. Shout out to them with the uh, the uh, information. Yeah, Jordan, shout out to you. So, all right, let's see what Star Wars has for us, y'all. And uh, if anyone wants to join into the Star Wars panel, put a one in the chat now for if you want to join the live stream today to talk Star Wars announcements. Once all the announcements start rolling out, I will share the link for us to talk Star Wars, and then we'll just kind of do it like that. We'll share the link for each panel so if you want to join star wars put a one in the chat if you want to join marvel put a two in the chat and if you want to join avatar put a three in the chat uh or put a four in the chat if you want to join for the <laughs> for each panel uh if you want to do that but yeah man we got star wars coming up first so let's see what a galaxy far far away has in line for us i think the first thing would probably be andor if i were a betting man um okay kathleen <laughs> did y'all see that um they booed homeboy off uh they booed him yesterday um i want to say it's not david zasloff and brandon if you're watching this you're probably screaming right now what is that man's name uh i see his stupid egg face right now but the, <laughs> the ceo of disney uh what is that man's name i heard they booed him yesterday which is hilarious disney ceo is literally right on and we've i've been saying that man's name for the last year and i can't think of bob chepik god damn it Bob Chepik, I heard they booed him. I wonder, and I wouldn't want someone to be booed on stage, but I wonder if they're uh, what the what the reception is to Kathleen Kennedy. If people are like throwing their Star Wars toys at her, <laughs> boo! Bring back George Lucas. No, I'm joking. Uh, shout out to Kathleen Kennedy, man, because it, it can be easy to get all the the hate that she has gotten, and it's so weird to me that people will blame her for failures of the franchise but then we'll give praise to john fabro and dave filoni for what they're doing with the tv stuff it's like well you know she's the boss of them too so but hey that's 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 what it means sometimes to be a boss you gotta take the good with the bad so i understand it but uh you know she's still getting paid so who, who <laughs> what does she care if people like her or don't like her right first up in the discussion yeah andor that makes sense that makes sense um i would imagine we're gonna get they're premiering the first three episodes, which is uh, interesting um, because I think the first, I think it's a nine, nine to 10 episode series. And if I'm not mistaken, May, I know you're a big Star Wars fan. Correct me if I'm wrong. The first season is like broken into years. Like the first three years is like the first three episodes is like take place in a year. The next three episodes is like two years and then so on and so forth. So correct me if I'm wrong, May, uh, but I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the story. That's how they're going to handle the story. They're going to break it up into chapters, which is... I mentioned this, if this is a completely different subject matter, but House of the Dragon, big fan of that. We cover it every single Sunday. If you're not joining us, come and join us live on those uh, watch parties and after shows. But one of the things I'm not looking forward to is the 10-year time jump in that show because I've been so invested into the younger characters, Renera, Alicent, you know, so on and so forth. So I, I'm, I don't know how I feel about jumping ahead in time in one season that seems a little jarring to me but it go, of course it's all about execution but i'm just not a fan of like off-screen development i like to see things take place and not just like oh you know alluding to things versus seeing it but who knows again it all boils down to the execution of it all but nonetheless i say all that to say i'm very excited for andor um kathleen kennedy promises a lot of content for today's okay so she's promising a lot of content 
If, hey, we talked about it earlier. Will they announce that Kevin Feige project and that Taika Waititi film? And is Ryan Johnson's trilogy, is he going to be brought up at all? We already know the TV shows are their bread and butter right now. Um, so she's she's promising a lot of content. All right, Kathleen, let's see what, 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 what you got for us. What you got for us in the galaxy far, far away. Uh, but let me check in with the chat here and see what you guys are talking about with it when it comes to the Star Wars stuff. What was it? Yeah, what I say, B. I know you were <laughs> yelling at me. I couldn't think of that fool's name, Bob Chupik. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. And your favorite, right, B? That's your, that's your guy, right? <laughs> see, see it. You're gonna be the best. So, so. Oh, I appreciate it, Justin. Hashtag pops. <laughs> B, you're killing me. You're killing me, man. Um, Captain Kenny, aka the first. <laughs> Look, man, how can we how can we blame her for the for the films and then not give her the credit for the TV shows? Right. She's doing both. She's not creatively speaking. She's not, you know, writing these scripts, but she puts people in position of power to make those. But I, I, I understand it. I, it comes with the territory. My phone's uh, going off. So let me see if we got any other announcements here. Do 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 do. Uh, oops, I hit the wrong button. Let me go back here. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we got some Andor stuff, guys. So let me go. Let me scroll up. So Andor season two is close to begin. Okay, I already. I thought they actually started shooting season two, um, but they are now beginning production, which could mean it doesn't necessarily mean they're shooting. They could be obviously script uh, provisions. You know, I think they already got the casting, storyboarding. So that's cool. That's exciting. Kathleen Kennedy describes Andor overall as a twenty-four episode spy thriller. Twenty-four episodes. So hold up. Wait, how many? How many episodes is Andor? I thought it was 10. Season one was 10. I would imagine season two is 10. Hold on. How many episodes is Andor, y'all? Am I tripping? Is this like a 12 episode show? Which is. Yeah. Okay. So Andor season. Oh, maybe I knew that and just maybe forgot. But yeah, Andor season one is 12 episodes. So see, okay. Hey, man, I'm happy about that because I am so tired of that six episode nonsense they've been doing with marvel uh and of course they've you know what if was nine episodes wandavision was nine episodes she hulk's nine episodes and now this one's 12 so i'm glad that they're experimenting with experimenting with a variation of uh episodes so and and the thing that gets me excited spy thriller i love that because that's the thing about these franchises man you got to give us something different you can't just keep giving us the same thing so a spy thriller in a star wars world sounds fantastic um here are our characters some character posters um which is exciting very excited to learn more about <clears throat> other characters that were involved in, in the um during that time and again if i'm not mistaken i'm a big fan of um uh gilroy who, who directed well he didn't direct rogue one but a lot of people behind the scenes said that he came in and kind of finished up the film uh which by the way as far as star wars disney films go rogue one is the best to me it is hands down their best film that they have produced to date but as far as this goes i'm very excited to learn more about these characters uh i know forrest whitaker is going to be in the show uh there's some rumors you know during this time you know the emperor Darth Vader. the emperor was around y'all and, and i don't know how many jedi and sith are going to be involved in this show but we'll see what comes of that but yeah i'm very excited to learn more about these characters and again going back to that whole spy thriller the creators of uh, The Americans, which was on FX like 10 years ago, one of the best spy shows I've ever seen in my life. It was such a great show. So a lot of those people are involved in the show, and that gets me very excited to, to dive deeper into the grittiness. The um, – the uh, okay, some more character posters there. The grittiness, the stories is going to be there. The um, I think this is going to be one of the best produced projects that Star Wars has put together, y'all. I'm, I'm very excited for it. And also the biggest thing that gets me excited, they got a plan. They have a plan, y'all. And that's the biggest complaint with me with Star Wars. It, nothing was planned, you know? So I'm very excited to see um, this story play out because they have everything on paper, you know? They have a, a start and a finish. So I'm very excited for that. Let's see here. Everyone's saying, what's up? What's up? Uh, yeah, man, I can't wait till they start talking about that. I'm so excited for uh, Amanla St uh, Stanford. Uh, who, who we got here? 
Kyle Rudd is that his character and or someone you'll learn to love to hate. So he's what one of the villains. Uh, I don't know who this Kyle guy is. I've never seen him before. What is what has he been in before? I'm not too familiar with it. And I don't even know who he's playing. Again, that's another exciting aspect about it. One of the, the things I, I'm not that I haven't been enjoying as a Star Wars fan is the the lack of world building. We've been so ingrained in Tatooine, uh, uh, you know, going to the Star, the, the Luke Skywalker's. Like, can we? This is a galaxy, bro. Can we expand on the lore? And, the, and that's why I love the Mandalorian, right? It's a new character uh, with familiar beats, but a whole new set of characters and, and all that stuff. So I'm really excited to learn more about these kind of other, you know, uh, evil Sith lords or, or people that work within the um, the Empire and obviously the heroes and, and the greatness. That's the thing, too, that I loved about Rogue One, that it showed that Andor is not a he's not a hero, man. He had to do bad stuff. First time we meet the guy in, in Rogue One, he kills someone uh, in cold blood. So I, I love that it's going to be a lot of greatness to these characters. No one's truly bad. No one's truly good. So that that's what gets me excited for the show. So as he says, you'll someone you love to hate. So that's that's exciting. I'm sure he has his reasons why he, um, you know, is is with the uh, the Empire. <sighs> it's a complicated on again off again relationship with Andor. So listen, man. So I would imagine her character. Um, is someone that unfortunately probably doesn't make it uh at the end of the 24 episodes because i would imagine she would have been a part of the rogue one like she obviously i don't remember him mentioning any love interest i think he mentioned that he's lost some really good people on his path to to rogue one but i don't, I don't think she's gonna make it y'all and i and i like andrea i think she's she's great man she was um she was in what was she in recently oh morbius she was actually, she was, I liked her in that, that movie. And she's been in some other projects. I think she was in a Michael Bay, she's been in some other stuff that I liked her in. I always get her and uh, Issa Gonzalez. They, 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 they look very similar, very beautiful actresses, very good up and coming actresses as well. So I'm excited to learn who she is. And again, I, I, I might be completely off with this because it says on again, off again relationship. Maybe they were broken up during Rogue One uh, and maybe she's still out there, but I would assume that she might, doesn't make it out of this show. Uh, Cause you know, spy thriller you know there's some some casualties some people that die throughout this uh says andor is a giant 12 episode film um so interesting quote there because one of my one of the issues with and i'll just compare it to marvel one of my issues with marvel tv shows so far is that they have been they've been sh making those shows like films where they kind of break them up and it feels disjointed uh, you can't shoot a show like a film because it's not a film. Uh, maybe in, and I don't know the context of this quote here, but maybe he's referring to the, again, the scope and the scale and, and how they are approaching the show uh, in a sense of production. But as far as you don't write a show, like you write a film, they're two different, you know, ways you write those two different things so I hope that that is more referring to just how the scope of the, the, the show is versus how they're approaching it because I, I think it, it feels very disjointed if you're shooting a show like you're making a movie uh in a sense of storytelling goes so we'll see we'll see i'm still excited for it still excited for it um let's see let's see and i wonder too with them premiering the first three episodes oh okay we got a trailer y'all we got a damn trailer hold on hold up hold up let's pause all right let's look at this and or trailer hopefully the youtube's doesn't take down the stream. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Put it one in the chat if you can hear. <clears throat> Spies. Saboteurs. Assassins. We've all done terrible things on behalf of the rebellion. Cassian Ander. Don't matter what you tell me or tell yourself. You'll ultimately die fighting these bastards. Wouldn't you rather give it all at once to something real? We've chosen a side. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. We're fighting against. That the is dark. freaking beautiful. There is an organized rebel effort. Drill down and get a hunt started. You realize what you set in motion? People will suffer. Time has come to force her hand. At what cost? Everything! Ooh. Every day we wait. Oh, 
they get stronger. <clears throat> Let's take them by surprise. For the greater good. Call it what you will. Let's call it war. Mm. People are standing up. They're afraid. Right now, they're afraid. Yes. Let's go! Yes. Ooh. Star Wars and yes, yeah. episode premiere streaming September 21st. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, yo. Listen, man, that is that. That's that Star Wars I'm looking for, man. Again, I love Jedi's. I love Sith. I love all that stuff, the lore, the mythology, but I also like to be grounded in the reality every now and then, man. Jeez, that look good. The phase two uh, clone troopers, man. The, the the politics, the 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 backstabbing, the stakes, the depth, the scar. I mean, listen, if you're a scars guard, you're automatically a fantastic actor. I mean, that looks fantastic, y'all. I mean, goodness gracious, I I got chills just looking at that trailer. The, the one thing that stands out to me is they're they're on set. They're on set. I love the volume. I, and obviously, we know why they had to use the volume during the pandemic. They had to, you know, you and, and the, listen, the volume is, is beautiful, gorgeous. But you can tell from the visuals, man, that they are on these sets. I mean, this looks like goodness gracious, man. The production value on this show is and this is what I think uh, um, he was referring to was the, the scope of this show is like a film. I mean, look at that. Come on. This ain't the volume. This is there somewhere in Ireland. There's somewhere <laughs> overseas shooting this beautifulness. Good gosh, they're in the forest. And I just love it. It is no jokes, number one. They're not joking around, kicking. This is this is serious stuff, man. This is very mature uh content. So I don't know if the kids will be able to watch this, y'all. It looks practical. Um, from the director of the Born Legacy. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, obviously, there's some visual effects there, probably, but I mean, goodness gracious, hopefully we're not on Tatooine yet again. I doubt it. It looks like we're going to all different parts of the planet universe. Um, man, and we got some stuff. We got some Star Wars, <laughs> right? <laughs> Seeing some intergalactic war, man, some war. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, man. This this takes me back to the prequels, which, you know, the good stuff about the prequels. I'm not the biggest prequel fan. I know people prefer the prequels over the original trilogy which is baffling to me but to each their own but those po political you know in the windows and political storylines they have in the prequels are, are, are for the most part uh handled pretty well uh some of the script and the stories and the character developments aren't the, the best to me in that franchise and the prequels but this is prequel this is the stuff i love about the prequel is this the characters it's the depth it's the layers it's oh look at bro come on man let me look at this man and again, I go back to Rogue One being the best Disney produced uh, film. It's the best looking film too. Like Rogue One is absolutely gorgeous to look at. My goodness, look at that! Look at that, y'all! Star Wars, Andor, three episode premiere starting in eleven days. I'm here for it, y'all. I am here for it. All right, let me uh, let me refresh the page. Let me know, a May, uh, or any of my Star Wars fans, uh, since we're talking Star Wars, let me know if anyone wants to join and let me know your thoughts on Andor and any of the other uh, Star Wars stuff. Willow, I'm going to be honest with you all. I've never seen the, the original, so I'm going to have to watch it because I hear it's a classic. It slipped under the radar for me, but I'm I'm not I'm not overly excited for it. When is it? This it's a, I thought it was a movie, so it's a series, November 30th. So they're showing I don't really care about Willow. I'm not gonna lie, but shout out to the Willow fans out there, but I'm not looking forward to it. But if there is any Star Wars fans that wants to share their two cents, uh, let me know. I can put a one in the chat if you want to join the stream. Um, I can share that link if you all want to join. Um, if not, no worries. We can save that for the for the um, Marvel stuff. But if you guys want to let me know how you're feeling about this. Let me know in the chat uh, by putting a one in the stream, and I can put that link there. Looks good. Looks gorgeous. That look, yeah, and not just that look. Oh yeah, that was him. That's um, he was uh the maester, right? He was the he was he was the one that brought back the mountain, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me know if I'm if I'm wrong on that. 
yeah, I'm, I'm listen. I'm so yeah. It's, anything scars guards are in uh, are fantastic. Uh, yeah, I love the geek out of from stuff that looks exciting. This looks fantastic. Um, let's see, let's see. It looks amazing. Like I said, man, I know you're a big Star Wars fan. Let me know if you want to get in and, and share your two cents here. Willow up next. Yeah, looks. I got to catch up on on, on this. I, I missed the boat on on the original. I hear it's fantastic, but uh, I just never really got into it. So maybe if it's on Disney Plus, maybe I'll watch it before the series drops. I'm glad they brought back Saw Saw Guerrero. Yeah, uh, I can't do the voice. I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. But shout out to Forrest Whitaker. We must fight the bad. I can't do it. I can't do it. Damn it. Three episodes, nice. Uh, yeah, three episodes from here. That's pretty cool. Can't wait to see how easy and surprisingly comfortable people went with the Republic to the Empire. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. It's the political intrigue. It's the there's rhymes and reasons to it, right? There are not everyone, believe it or not, not everyone in the Empire is a complete evil person, right? Sometimes you got to, during times of war, um, you got to take a side. You got to protect your family. You know, if, if you don't join the Empire, they're going to murder your whole family. So, I mean, there's, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm very excited to learn about it because obviously I believe Skarsgård's character is a, he, he's like a higher up kind of in the empire, but he's also working as a spy, you know, and he getting intel. So th that stuff to me is going to be so amazing. Uh, not into, yeah, like I said, and, and, no, and like I, said, I don't, I can't speak on it because I've never seen it, but I know from people that do love fantasy and all that stuff. Um, Christian Slater was star. Oh, wow, Christian Slater. <laughs> When was the last time Christian Slater has that is dope? That's that's awesome to me. I, he's listen, no disrespect to Christian Slater. He was he was the man in the 90s and, and stuff like that. What was um uh Con, not Con Air? What was that film that he was in with Nicolas Cage back in the day? That's the one thing I would like remember Christian. I know he's been in a lot of other like iconic stuff, but that's like the one thing I remember Christian Slater from was that film with him and um no, it wasn't how would I say it? Uh it wasn't Nicolas Cage, that was uh my man, uh, John John Travolta. What was that? What was the name of that film, y'all? Help me on the chat. I'm looking. Oh, Heather's, of course. Um, Young Guns Two, Robin Hood. Yep, yep. He's been in some uh, some iconic stuff in his heyday. True Romance, of course. How can I forget that? Interview with a Vampire. Yeah, he. No, listen, man. I'm sitting here disrespecting this 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 great actor and his great career. Uh, Zoolander. I forgot he was a Zoolander. My hunter, what was the film I was talking about though in the 90s? Broken Arrow, right? Wasn't that Broken Arrow? Yes, Broken Arrow. Him and John Travolta, directed by John Woo. Yeah, man. I remember that as growing up as a kid. 2000s has been in some stuff, some straight to DVD stuff. He hasn't really been in the in the in the limelight in a while, y'all. If I'm not mistaken, just look at his filmography. Um, yeah, not a, and, and again, he's getting paid. Don't get me wrong, he's still working. Um, he's consistently working, he's in a project every other year, so he's doing his thing. But as far as big project, he hasn't really been a part of anything. I know he's been doing TV stuff too. So shout out to Christian Slater, man, coming back into the to the Disney fold with Willow. And again, let me know because again, I haven't seen Willow. Was he in? Was he in the original? Um, like, was he a? Is his character was it, his character supposed to be a kid? And now this is the adult version of him. Um, again, this is apologies. I'm not the biggest Willow um, follower, so I couldn't tell you anything about this world um i know uh warwick davis you know obviously a lot of people know him from star wars but i don't and i know he's in the original um and it looks like it is on disney plus so i'm gonna have to watch willow i'm gonna have to watch it it is on disney plus and, and see what it's about because I, I literally i don't even know what it's about like i know it's fantasy but that's about it um 1988 no ron howard okay i didn't know ron howard directed it val kilmer gene mar okay yeah, 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 I'm gonna have to check this out, man. Cause I'm a big, I'm a big fantasy fan. They're pretty good in the '80s production or uh, budget wise. So, all right, shout out to the Willow fans out there and Christian Slater. Don't call it a comeback. All right, let's see. We got any Willow fans in the building? Uh, I don't think it's technically Maester. He was bad. Okay, yeah, I can't remember what he was, but I know he worked with uh, Cersei and he brought back the um, the mountain. <laughs> I mean, hey man, sometimes you get some some bad products on your belt, but I know uh Tony is a great guy. I'm too sure. Oh, no worries, mate. No worries. Uh, I appreciate you still being here. Can't hear. You can't hear me. Can you guys hear me? Mic check, mic. Okay. I'm sure my mic is on. Uh part of soft stories told through the fallen order. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because when I saw him in row one, I didn't know who he was. 
And I think wasn't he in uh, Kenny? Let me know. Wasn't he in um, Rebels too as a as an animated character? Uh, yes, Rims. Shout out to Rims. Hit that thumbs up. Support the channel, beautiful people. Yes, yes, yes. How many? Matter of fact, Rims. And shout out to Rims, man. Big uh, supporter of the channel. Uh, and I always appreciate her uh, support, man. And one of these days, Rim, I, I, we got to get you on the stream. I got to see you, got to talk to you because we. I love uh, the support you give to the channel. And I would love to chop it up with you one day on one of these streams. We got 88 people watching. We got 57 likes. Can we get it? Can we get maybe to 70, please? Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, comment, sub subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let's see here. Broken Arrow. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Face Off. No, it wasn't Face Off. That was, uh, well, was he in Face Off? No, I don't think he was in Face Off. But I definitely know the movie I was talking about was Broken Arrow. But I don't think he was in Face Off. Uh, Slater is also playing the villain in, oh, okay. Hey, don't call it again. Like I said, I remember him in uh, yeah, Young Guns. Was he in Face Off? Am I tripping? I don't remember this dude being in Face Off. It's one of my favorites growing up. I, I mean, if he wasn't face off, I know he wasn't a pivotal character. Am I tripping? Was he in face off, y'all? Am I completely like not remembering him in face off? Face off, of course, you know, John Travolta, Nicolas Cage. I'm getting sidetracked. I think they're showing a trailer right now. It's a Willow. So let me see if it's uh if it's exciting. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Man, I'm, I'm glad they're giving us trailers, y'all, because that means Marvel. We're going to get some trailers from Marvel. Okay? All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's check out this trailer for Willow. Let's see if we should be excited for this. The Excalibur. You think you know what is real. Put a one in the chat if what you guys can it? hear the, uh, the trailer. Put a one in the chat. What is light? What is dark? Now. Forget all you know. Come with me. Looks cool. Willow. We're looking for the sorcerer, Willow. I was told that once long ago you defeated the forces of evil. You remind me of your mother. My dear friend, I thought I could prevent all this. I was wrong. Badass. My brother was abducted. The world needs you again. It needs oh. your magic. Follow me. It's homegirl from my... Uh... We must go. Solo series. Beyond the edge of our world. Movie. Into the unknown. Well, I need your help. Just like old times. <laughs> Running. Horses. Damn. Damn. Happy to see Eddie. This looks beautiful. Stronger. Rallying the forces Ooh, of evil. Okay. And the only thing standing in its path is us. I'm going to enjoy this. If you think you'll have tickets, am I? I doubt that very much. Take him to my tent and make sure he's tied up. I don't know. See, that kind of sounds like we're on the same page. <laughs> when I was a kid, Death is a little bit more kid friendly. Visiting strange worlds, fighting monsters. Run! Never thought I'd actually really do it. What the hell is that? Oh. Okay. Run! This looks pretty cool, y'all. I don't know if it's necessarily up my alley, but you know, I don't know if I would best watch it on a weekly basis, but it looks pretty cool. Same as last time. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. With my friends. Nice. A little bit of magic in there. Some wonder. Some fantasy. That's cool, man. I like that. Like I said, necessarily I might not like watch it, but yo, that looks magical, man. That looks pretty cool. I wonder if Ron Howard, if he's attached to it at all. No, it said that he directed the first one. What is this? Hold on, Star Wars. When was Star Wars? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad Batch didn't see season one. Like I told y'all up top, I don't really watch the animated Star Wars, but you know, shout out to the Bad Batch fans out there. You got your new season coming at the top of the year. Dave Filoni in the building. Some might say he is this generation's George Lucas. The uh, you know, he obviously learned a lot from him. Uh 16 episodes long, two episode premiere. Cool. Wait, hold on. Then two episode premiere. Then it say it starts the fourth. Premieres on the fourth. And then 10 days later, maybe they uh they maybe got they got that wrong. What is this? Tales of the Jedi will premiere October 26th on Disney+. Plus. This must be another animated show because if this was live action, they would have been talked about this. I'm pretty sure Tales of the Jedi is kind of like in the same vein as, as the Vision story, which is like different stories 
uh, in an animated form. Okay, here we go. Tales of the Jedi is a six episodes long three. Oh, excuse me. Um, focusing on Ahsoka and focusing on Do Dooku. Okay, so I'm I might have to watch that because, like I told you, I don't I don't know much about Ahsoka because I didn't watch Rebels and Clone Wars and all that different stuff. So I'm gonna have to watch that because I'm very excited for Ahsoka and if this is focusing on her origins because it looks like this might be her as a baby. Uh, understand where she comes from. Understand how she met Anakin because I know that was that was her uh, her master at one point. Um, so I might. Again, I don't watch the Star Wars anime stuff, but I want to be more, and I don't want to watch 19 seasons of Clone Wars to understand who Ahsoka is. So this might be a nice little <coughs> kind of happy medium for me to understand her origin. So, okay, that's cool, man. That's a nice poster, too, by the way, for Willow. It's a really cool poster. Kind of Lord of the Rings version uh, vibes that I'm getting from this story with a little bit more magic. I don't know if I want to. I guess I'll play it. Let's see. Uh, let's check out the trailer for Tales of the Jedi coming out October 26. But there, everywhere see. there is life, peace, death. Okay, a little bit more serious. Not Honor it. Do not fear it. Jedi. Ahsoka is Jedi. The best way I can protect you is right, to teach again. you how to protect yourself. Master Dooku. I want to bring peace and order to the galaxy. <clears throat> Master, stop! Okay. It is the only way you will truly have victory, my bad one. Is that um again? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on. Ace Windu and again. Hold on, bro. Was that um Qui Gon? Am I tripping you? Stand down. Why? Why is it Sam Jackson voicing Ace Windu? I'm tired of fighting. Been warning them about the coming darkness. Darth Vader, okay. Let's hope oh no, that's not Darth Vader. It's okay. A Yoda. Okay. And who might you be? Yoda, baby. That's cool, man. No, I mean, like I said. Not a big Star Wars animated fan, but hey, man, I might have to, like I said, I don't know that much about Ahsoka, so I might watch an episode or two there, but that looks cool, man. Like I said, let me know for my my my, my Star Wars fans, am I tripping or was that, was that Qui-Gon? Qui-Gon, we got Mace Windu. Um, here's a couple pictures here from that trailer we just saw. But uh, yeah, let me know in the chat, guys. Did I, did I? Am I mistaken? Again, I might sound like a complete idiot, but I thought that that was Qui Gon that they show like a younger version of Qui Gon there, which is cool. But uh, why don't why don't they bring back the the voice actors? Why isn't um, Sam <clears throat> voicing uh, Mace Windu? That's odd. At least it didn't, it didn't sound like Sam Jackson. I might be wrong. I have to check out it again. But that did not sound like uh, him at all to me. Um. May, yeah, I know, hey, you say you're Star Wars, I know you're probably watching it, so that's dope. And it's coming out pretty in a couple uh, next month. Willow's very Star Wars. Yeah, I got that Lord of the Rings vibe from it. Um, Mace Windu, yep. Was that Qui Gon? Is, does anyone say if that was Qui Gon or not? The sixth sixth brother from. Okay, see, yeah, y'all, right over my head. That sounds dope, though. Okay, that's, okay, so that was Qui Gon. Okay, I wasn't tripping. This seems like a what if of Star Wars. Yeah, that's an envision. They seem to be doing that a lot, which <laughs> to that point, I would love to see a what if of other stories, right? What if Anakin didn't go to the dark side? What if Luke became a Sith Lord? What if, you know, and, and for those people that hate the, the new trilogy, what if Rey became uh, something else? I would love to see other stories being told if they want to, you know, continue to, to, you know, milk that cow. I would love to see that. Coop says I'm uh you know, yeah, like I said, I know it's 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 lost a lot of people, especially with the new takeover of Disney, but I'm still a Star Wars fan. I still have like I said, Rogue One, Mandalorian are like elite Star Wars to me. 
you have to yeah that's what i heard as far as like getting more understanding of ahsoka yeah i'm wondering where this fits into canon and that's like a big thing right it's canon what's what's canon what's not canon uh with the star wars universe so okay that, that's not yeah i didn't think that that didn't sound anything like uh hit me up Elliot. oh yeah for sure man again i don't know if i'm gonna uh, if you're referring to ahsoka i would yeah i'll definitely hit you up as far as like this to get a better understanding of her because i want to watch that show and i don't want to be one of those people watching it. and again there's I hope the show, and I'm referring to Ahsoka, I hope the show is more, um, um, it's open, right? I hope they can uh, tell the story because I know it's going to take place and where's Ezra, where's Theron, and obviously it's going to have that stuff that you would probably need to know what's going on. But I hope that it's also a new story that people that even that have seen the Clone Wars can go on a new adventure and not know how you know things are going to shape up. So yeah i might have to hit you up justin to kind of get me up to speed with ahsoka and everything like that what if finn had that's what, hey that's why i said cool like for real like and again for those that didn't like the 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 new trilogy what if finn got the respect and he became the, the the you know a force user that that was the initial plan uh again what if ray went down that dark path what if Anakin was a you know a good guy and so on and so forth. What if um, you know so many different what if scenarios in the world of Star Wars and being told in an animated form? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I mean at, at this point and, and literally, uh, Tyrion, they have announced like nineteen Game of Thrones projects, and one of them is an animated show. So what? Uh, what is, hold on, what is this? Oh, 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 we got some Ahsoka. Oh, oh, speak of Ahsoka. Here she is. John Farbo said that Dave Filoni wanted to bring Ahsoka into live action ever since Clone Wars. They used the Mandalorian to test it, and the audience wanted it. Yeah, and I thought she looked pretty badass. Um, first look at Sabine. I know for my Star Wars fans that watch Rebels and watch Clone Wars, I, I know that that means something. I think that's Ezra. It's like they're all friends, and obviously I think uh, they're, they're all separated in different parts of the galaxy. <clears throat> Dave Filoni says many of the crew working on Soka grew up watching Clone Wars. That's crazy. Grew up. How long? How long ago was Clone Wars? Wasn't it just like fifteen years ago? Clone Wars, two thousand eight. So they got a lot of youngins working on this project. That's cool, man. You got people that that love the character that know the. Oh, hey, this is what I wanted. John Far John Farrow brought John Watts to Lucasfilm after working with him on. Sp oh, that's cool. That's cool. 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 Um, listen, I'll say this about John Watts. Um, shout out to him. I mean, that's not an easy endeavor to take on three of those Spider-Man films. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Are we going to get some rap filmy? Okay. So they just wrapped it. So we might get a little teaser of the skeleton crew. First look at Jude Law. Okay. I mean, looks like Jude Law. That is him. Confirmed. Jude Law is in the show. <laughs> uh, but my thing was, like I said, guys, this is supposed to be a stranger thing. And I can't. I, yeah, I, I don't know who the hell that is behind him, but that looks like a a, a kid with a uh, with some curly hair. That looks like a girl next to him, and then these people have like helmets. I don't know if they're aliens or droids, but I'm I'm very curious to know. Like I said earlier in the stream, I think because they said that this is kind of like Stranger Things in space, I wouldn't be surprised if a Stranger Thing. And listen, I said that, that looks like is that Millie Bobby Brown. I don't know, y'all. Um, but let me see. Let me refresh. Let me see. Is there any teasers or more information on the cast of Skeleton Crew? First look at Ahsoka. Yeah, we saw that earlier. <clears throat> but I'm really, I'm, I'm excited for this Skeleton Crew. Again, from what I've, the only thing I know about it is that they said it's like uh, Stranger Things in space. Uh, let me see if there's any more information on the Skeleton Crew. Um, Skeleton Crew, starring Drew Law, John Watts, Christopher Floyd, John Favreau, Dave Filoni, coming out next year. Um, is there any? Is the story of their journey trying to find their way home? It stars. It stars four kids, but it's not a kids show, says John Watts. Okay, this is. Uh, let me share what I'm looking at, guys. Uh, this was. From when they talked about it at Comic Con, I think was the first time they mentioned the skeleton crew. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> so this is from Star Wars fandom. So this was the quote from Variety referring to this series. So again, it says it's a story of their journey trying to get home. And it's a Star Wars for kids, but it's not a kid's show. Okay. 
That's a little bit of information that's been said about it so far. Okay. Okay. So shout out to um, Skeleton Crew. It stars kids, but it's not a kid's show. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a kid's show. That's good to know. Not that there's anything wrong with kids' shows, but again, as an adult, you know, you want a little bit more um, mature natures in these stories. So that's cool. <clears throat> and by them saying it's not a kid's show doesn't mean it's going to be dropping F bombs and heads being sliced off. But I would assume that it has a little bit more stakes and a little bit more mature um, stories to be told. Um, all right, Justin, I see you, you put, a, put a one in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and um, let me see. So, Justin, if you want to come in, man, and talk some Star Wars with me, brother, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, this link in the stream, y'all. <clears throat> right. Click this link to talk Star Wars. All right. So, again, rules, Justin. I'm going to go ahead and uh, invite you in, my friend. The link is in the chat now. Uh, if anyone else wants to join in into the Star Wars talk, um, oops, it didn't save my link. And I spelled link wrong. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me redo that there. Can I copy that and share it again? Anyway, Justin, if you want to come in, man, just hit that link there. And if anyone else wants to join in to the Star Wars talk uh, before we get into some of the Marvel and, and um, Avatar stuff, let me know. Hey, there he is. There he is. Justin, my man. Hey, man. Good to be back. Can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear, man. How are we doing today? Doing good, man. Look, we're really enjoying this live stream with you. Oh, I appreciate you coming in, man. I'm I'm uh very excited, bro. It's so it's a good time to be a Marvel fan, a Star Wars fan, and uh some Avatar fans come a little bit later, man. But hey, you hit oh, we got some Mandalorian stuff, oh, just what we got, what we got? Mandalorian. Let me know uh how you're feeling about Skeleton Crew, uh the Andor trailer we got today. Are you excited for the Tales of the Jedi? Where are you at, man, with the Star Wars stuff we got so far? Oh man, I'm all excited. I've been a huge Star Wars fan forever. My, my dad introduced it to me back when I was like, damn, like three years old. I've been watching this stuff. And as you met my son, I, I introduced it to him. So he's all about it. Hey, you're a great parent, man. Get him into Star Wars, get him into Marvel. Yeah. You're doing the right thing, man. Trying to raise him right. <laughs> yes, sir, man. Justin. Thank you. As always. So uh, when yeah, it man. comes to um Ashoka, I did want to tell you that look, a lot of her story is in the uh, the Clone Wars. There's a great mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. Oh, you can go on Google, but you can look up certain episodes. So you can just pick the ones you need to learn her backstory. Okay. A uh, brief gotcha. overview. She was Anakin's apprentice. Yeah. They gave it to her that. to make him like mature him, basically. Gotcha. Gotcha. And she, they do a great job of making of making her evolve, become her own character. She actually leaves the Jedi Order. Mm. She sees them be more corrupted by war. Which I thought was a great commentary. Shows you like when you fight so long, you start losing yourself. Right. So right. That was amazing. Gotcha. And, and tell me a little bit more about uh, Sabine, Ezra, Thrawn. Uh, you know, why should I be excited for those characters that are apparently going to be in the show as well? <clears throat> well, when it comes to Thrawn, that is just like this almost legendary status of bad guy. He mm -hmm. is such a great antagonist that you almost you just can't help but root for him the way he methodical way he destroys his enemies mm. it it really is uh, quite appealing like he uh <laughs> like are we talking darth vader levels man uh, no, uh, almost, yeah in, in the sense that he he's not going to belittle you he's not going to think you're not a threat he absolutely treats you like that so with that kind of level of respect he gives you know he's gonna come at you full force he's not gonna be like oh you're not a, you're a Jedi. You you don't have this so resources. You don't have that resources. Mm -hmm. so you can't come at me. No, he's full on things like no. I'm gonna treat you just as a, a any level of threat that needs to be extinguished. Okay. And, okay. and you, honestly, and you said it sounds like he has layers too. Like he, you yeah, he really does. You sympathize with him, or you just kind of understand where he's coming from? Uh, to some extent, you know, like apparently the um, if I remember correctly, uh, Darth um. Darth Sidious was, I don't want to say racist, but he, he didn't like a lot of aliens in his group. Mm -hmm. But Thrawn was so successful and so great at what he did that he couldn't stop promoting him. Mm -hmm. okay. And you, if you remember, like one of the best bad guys that even Vader listened to was Admiral, um, what was the name? Uh, not Thrawn, the other Admiral in episode one. I'm blanking right now. Oh, the, um, the, the guy that they brought back in Rogue One? Yeah, him. You know, um, like, even he told Vader what to do. Like, hey, Vader, stop choking out people. Right. You got to quit it. 
this right, guy's right. on that level where he's smart. He doesn't have the force, but then again, he you, you learn that you don't really need it oh, if you know what you're doing. Be my next question: Does he have any force abilities? No, nah, he does. He's just a brilliant tacticianist. We got the cast of Mandalorian on stage, which it looks like to Ooh. me, Catherine, Ka Kathleen Kennedy, Dave Filoni, Rick Farmiuma, which it did say and while you were talking. Uh, and again, Justin, I appreciate you filling me in on this knowledge, my friend. It looks like uh, Rick Farmiuma is going to have a bigger role right. as the executive producer. That's awesome. Man. I love Rick Farmiuma. Uh, Dope is a fantastic film. He was supposed to Definitely direct is. Flash, but unfortunately, we know that there was 90 directors that <laughs> missed out on that. So it's like Pedro Pascal, uh, John Favreau. I don't know who that woman is on John Favreau's side. I think that that is um, what is her name? Uh, Justin, help me out. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember. To um, that's not Gina, right? The no, the stage by her. Yeah. Um, what is her name? Um, I I see it right now. She was on that sci-fi show. Um, I'm blanking right now. I'm hard blanking on it, bro. Uh, but I think that's her. And then I, I can't see. And then obviously, uh, Jean Carlos Esposito on the end there. And then it's that comedian Amy. Uh, oh, the mechanic. The mechanic. Yeah. Uh, what is her name, bro? What is gonna uh, kill me? Mandalorian. Was she in previous seasons? Who's that? Which the one? one? The one we can't get. The one. Uh, yes, yeah, she's, she's the one that's gonna be fighting for uh for the for Mandalore. Oh, that's um Bo-Katan. Bo katan Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's why I think that that's in that black dress. I think that that's the actress that played her. Um. Which I thought she was great, man. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, just she was she actually voiced the character in the in the TV yeah. show, Katie Sackoff. That was her name, Katie yeah, Sackoff. She did. All the time. Yeah, I thought she was she. I, I loved her and uh, uh, in the episodes she was in, the one that Bryce Dallas Howard directed. So yeah, I'm very mm -hmm. excited to get more books because again, to the lore, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Justin. She is she she thinks that she has the rights to Mandalore. She should be yeah. a leader and stuff like that. And, and her and uh, Den's gonna be fighting for who should be. Having the dark saber, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's exactly. I, I thought she brought a great physical presence, and when she was on the show, like, yep, <clears throat> she's a fighter, she's a leader. No, so I love her. when she stood, I loved it. Where's Goru? <laughs> Goru. He's, he's uh, he's he's napping, Tyree, and he's he's that's having, right. his, or he's Go learning where his Jedi moves from Luke Skywalker. Yeah, man, I, I expect. Let me know, Justin. Man, we we know Grogu. We didn't see him in the new trilogy. Is he? Is the, does he not survive? The Mandalorian, man. Do we think that Grogu is going to be the ultimate sacrifice or sacrifice himself to save uh, Jin? Or how do you think the, the role of Grogu is going to play in this new season of Mandalorian? Uh, I think he's going to, if anything, I think he's going to follow in his uh, father's footsteps. He's going to become a Mandalorian. Uh, mm. That's one thing I learned in this, through this show. It's a religion. Mm. And, you know, there's, yeah. as we all say, there's more than one way to get to the goal. And, you know, right. the Skywalkers have the Force. Other people have politics. Mandalorian right. have their the way, right? So I think you can go that way. Okay. I honestly do. A little Grogu Mandalorian. Uh, I, I'm loving it, man. I, and plus, we he has you know obviously he still has a force. So I mean, that's a bad mother. You know what, that's man? Right. Be a Mandalore and have that Jedi training. Oh my goodness, he's gonna be, he's gonna be a force, like, man. Uh, yeah, to literally uh, a force to reckon with, man. Do you expect uh, Justin any more of Luke Skywalker? Do you want more Luke in season three of the Mandalorian? Or do you think they served he served his purpose in season two? No, <laughs> I, I kind of I, I do want to see more of Luke. You know, okay. I, I know we saw. He, to some extent, people say we saw the Skywalker saga. Right. But right, right. I, I do maintain that we saw his father's saga. We saw his father's story, and we saw Luke's death. We didn't see his life. Ah, good point. Good point, and man. So I, I really do want to see Luke struggle with becoming like, hey, you know, my way isn't the only way. And even something like Gorgu, who's like, hey, I understand you're trying to train me to use my, my powers, but at the end of the day, it's still my life. Right. And I want to follow my dad. And I think That's Luke's going to have to find out really hard and really fast that sometimes you can't, the, as much as you want to be the good in the world, you forcing it doesn't make you good. That's a great point, uh, Justin. And, and to your point, too, we did see in season two, he was building his temple, his Jedi temple. And we all know how that played out. So, hell, to your point, Justin, not saying that I would want to see this, but hell, we might see um princess leia and han dropping off uh you know uh kylo ren to yeah, the kylo ren. yeah ben. Man, so there might be a little bit of story because to you you brought it up so you said it so beautifully in regards to between return of the jedi and the force awakens that's 30 years of luke's story uh which i'm gonna throw the question out to the chat and throw it to you justin do you want to see a luke skywalker series would you want to see that nope 
He left. I, I didn't even know he left. Well, whenever you get back in, Justin, let me know. Uh, but let me know in the chat, guys. Would you want to see a Luke Skywalker series? Let me know if that's something you. Oh, there he is. There he is. I think he's back. Let me see. There you go. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Technical difficulties. I apologize. Uh, no worries. No worries, brother. Uh, the question I was saying was, would you want to see a Luke Skywalker series? Yeah, definitely. I really do. I, I want to meet his wife. Uh, when you ever meet her, Jade. Oh, my gosh. Oh, she's amazing. I did not know that. Yeah, he, he has great. I mean, I get I know it's legends. Oh, but okay. honestly, yeah. she had a great story arc. I, I want to see Luke try to go past his father. And uh, to learn that, hey, you know, sometimes you have to trust in other people. You're going to be better off for it. Hmm. We Jada some... Marin, I think that's how you pronounce her name. But yeah, I, I liked her a lot, and I would love to see his story be played out. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, man, I would too. I mean, again, I, I said it earlier. I, I kind of want to get away from the Skywalkers, but to your point, man, yeah, there is still a, that thirty-year um, stories that could be told. Uh, let's yeah, see definitely. Here. Uh, Moff Gideon season three. You haven't seen Moff and vulnerable before. Only you can supply yourself with the uh, patience to find out what comes back. Yeah, I'm very listen, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's fantastic, man. And yes, we he he did get handled in season two, man. He got embarrassed, yeah. and I'm wondering if uh, where he's at at this point. As as Carlos said, he's very vulnerable right now. Uh, and I would I would want to learn. I want to know more about him. I want to know how he got back and how he got into that power position, man. It was again, I know you're a big Star Wars fan. Was is he involved in any of the Clone Wars or any? Was he a, a, is he involved? No, not. I mean, I don't remember hearing his name mentioned much. Yeah, uh, I mean, he is an admiral, so he had to have been. Right, right, right. But uh, it had, by no means does that mean he was excluded from stuff. It's very possible somebody else wanted to take the credit and just uh, left the name out of it. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. but uh, I do, I do want to see more of him. Now, this man was humbled. As much as he was, he thought of himself as a great high level admiral of the reminiscent <laughs> empire, he got humbled. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes you're more dangerous on your back than you are on your feet, especially yeah, when man. your enemies doubt you. And I mean, what do you do with a a, 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 a Gideon? You can't just throw him in jail. Like he, like, how do you, where is, you know, what is exactly. the dead going to do with him? Uh, oh, bro, I think we got a trailer. Hold on. Oh, Hold on. Hopefully. This gave us a trailer. Let me refresh this page. Everyone, give the video a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe. A oh, it says the trailer is being shown, but no actual trailer, Justin. I hope they release No, it's this. not fair. Come on, like two minutes. Two minutes, we got to give it to us. <laughs> right? I know they showed a trailer at uh, Celebration, and they also showed it at Comic-Con. Come on. Again, I understand. You know, that's the, yeah. the beauty of exclusivity. That's why you want to go to D23 so you can see these things. Uh, but come on, you got to give us. How are you going to show us? And or not give us and plus the Mandalorian is coming out in um in February, isn't it? It's like right around the corner. It is. I mean, so I I'm, get there's a sneak peek, I understand, but a trailer, nah, that's meant to be seen. You gotta put put that out there. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think it's in February, bro. Uh season three. Yeah, February 23. Yeah, I mean, we're five months away, Disney. You gotta get yeah. the public the, the trailer. Come on, man. And listen, Justin, we all know if that trailer doesn't come out officially, it, it, it'll find its way online. It's it'll find its way online. <laughs> it'll be maybe crooked and, and hard to see and make out, but it'll make its way online. Like, I don't know if you saw it. I, I saw a little bit of the trailer they show. It, it looked great from, you know, again, from the upside down. <laughs> yeah, that side angle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Katie Sackoff says, I'm so excited for you guys to see this season for The Mandalorian because I've seen it and it is crazy. Yeah, I, I'm excited to learn more about and again, I know you, you, she was in, it was a Clone Wars. You the got Clone Wars, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. I think Katie Sackhoff is badass, man. I know there was, it, it was rumors that she was, uh, in the runnings to play Captain Marvel before obviously Brie Lawson got the role, but, uh, cause a lot of people fan casted her as, as Captain Marvel. But yeah, she's a badass, man. I'm excited to get more of her. And also, too, Mandalore. I'm really excited to learn more of Mandalore, man. And oh, yeah, definitely. I, I, you know, it's one thing they dropped the name, The Night of a Thousand Tears, but to see it, mm -hmm. oh, oh, man. Here we go, Justin. Here we go, oh, my here friend. We go. Let me uh, pause this. Let's go, y'all. Everyone who's ready for The Mandalorian, let's check it out. This is the one that you saved? You are as its father. A clan of two. Let's go. Two. But you have removed your helmet. 
Then you are a Mandalorian. No more. <sighs> that rule is so stupid to me, Justin. Come on. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Look at those visuals, man. There she is, Bo Katan. Your cult. Ooh. Fractured our people. Oh, oh my goodness. Is that Mandalore? Where were you then? Bro. <laughs> Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? Oh, Oh. <laughs> what was his name? Right, Boba Frick. Hang on. Are you ready for an adventure? Yeah. Oh man, it's gorgeous. Yes, yes. February, right? Streaming 2023. I think it's February, guys. Not soon enough. Oh yeah, man. Justin, first initial thoughts, man. What did you think of this trailer, bro? I'm blown away. I I love the the lore. I love the story. Damn, it's just like gorgeous. Like I'm so glad I got a 4K TV. Cause damn, I can appreciate it now. Oh my goodness, man. So, listen, we talked about Andor earlier, man. This looks the the the, the production value of these shows are second Can't be to beat. none. It this I love the look of Mandalore. It's broken. It's fallen. Um, I love this new kind of this version of Bo-Katan like I have I, I am the king you know I'm the queen I need to run this man I love that and I love these new designs these other Mandalorians bro Come oh on. man love that armor with the the armor is so clean that that uh but what is it Bacar Bascar armor Bascar is it, is, Bascar it looks so oh look at that shot there man look at Bo-Katan she's like mm -hmm. mother fool she brings that physicality the way she stands yeah, it's like damn man. yeah you're in charge I believe it. Oh my goodness! I can't think of my man's name uh, from season one. Uh, Carl, Carl, oh, look Carl, at that. Look, Carl Weathers. Look at that shot, man. Hold on, let me look at this. Just look this at shot them. alone, and look at her on the throne. Look at this. her just sitting on the throne. Where were you? Where were you? Then. Oh, it's going down, February, y'all. Did you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? I'm here for it, Justin. I'm here, I'm for, here it, bro. for it. Let's go. Um, listen, man. This is and I want more Mandalorian, man. I don't want this. I don't think this is the final season. I don't think they've uh, said that, but I, I can go for like maybe five seasons in a movie. Give me five seasons in a movie, Justin. Yeah, exactly. Jeez, as much as I can man. get, I'll take. Yeah, man. I'm 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 loving John Fabro and Samin J. Um, Dave Filoni have been working so uh, seamlessly with this character. And, and again, knowing that Dave Filoni comes from the class of George yeah. Lucas and the lore and the mythology, and obviously Jan, John Favreau comes from that excellent storytelling. They're, they're such a good partnership that if we do get a, a Mandalorian movie, I would love for them to be Dave Filoni, the writer of the film, and John Favreau, the director of the film. Definitely. If we never get that. Or uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. She, she Oh, yeah. Every episode she's done, I loved. Man. Like if you were told me five years ago that she would be the, the the saving grace as far as just what she's brought to the world and even the episode she directed with uh Boba Fett, which I was listen, just I was not a fan of that series at all. Hey, I get you. Not everybody that I was series. a fan, but it was the end. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> I was not, man. And even Obi-Wan didn't really work for me entirely, man. But I uh, listen, Mandalorian can do no wrong in my eyes. Bo Katan versus the uh, armor, it's over. Yeah, it's it's oh ooh. definitely, man. I want to see that Th those two ideologies. Yeah, we, we got it. We haven't seen the armor in in action, man. She's no. she's whoever she is. I love that voice and just her her cadence and her voice. And just oh the, yeah, the nature. nature. I will. That would be a badass fight to see. Um, uh oh, I want to see the the philosophical fight because you know yeah. Bo-Katan comes from this yeah. privilege, so to speak, because right. she's a princess. But you know, you you talk to the the mm. armorer. She lives it. She breathes it. She loves right. this. The religion right. is her. So I want to see that philosophy fight between them. Bro, who are these other Mandalorians, Justin? Who's who's? Oh who's man, I love that. Left? And look at those those designs, man. Yeah, that's uh, what I love. Like everybody, like yeah, they're similar, but you could tell they have their own aspect to them. That's you right. don't you don't get that a lot of places. There's that beautiful shot of her on the throne. It's like, what you want to do? What you want to do, Mando? Uh, what we got here? First, look at Indiana. Ooh, <sighs> Justin, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't really care for <laughs> Indiana Jones Five, man. Yeah. 
He's I listen. There's no doubt. Iconic icon character. No other character is well known as Indiana Jones. But I'm at this point, bro. It's it's too little, too late. But listen, saving grace to me is uh James Mang Mangled, who you know okay, Logan yeah. and uh, walk the line, uh, walk the line. Uh, three six was it three sixty Yuma? Uh, I mean, also the Ferrari four V Ferrari. He's oh, a fantastic Ferrari. director. That's the only. Yeah, yeah. Really so you know the stuff. But, he definitely knows his stuff, man. What is this here? Here's our. Oh yeah, we saw her earlier, Sabine. And you're um, right. Look, look about like we. It's a shadow of Indiana Jones. We both knew who it was. You, you don't need right. no context. Just right, show exactly. that outline. Yeah, Indiana Jones. Here. Yeah. So I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna give it a shot just because I'm more I'm more excited for James Mangle's direction of the film than I am the actual film. But I'm hopeful, man. And and yeah, no disrespect to, to the legend, you know Harrison Ford. But I mean, come on, man. He's like 87 years old, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm gonna watch it. Hell yeah, but I'm I'm just not as excited as my expectations are yeah, they're manageable. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh James Mango and both Steven Spielberg and George Lucas have been involved. I mean, listen, you hey. <laughs> come on. James Mango, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas. When you say those names, it's a trifecta right there. Exactly. You can't get you can't not hate on it, man, because it's just that's just excellence. Uh like you ever seen. Yeah, uh Boba Frick. Yeah, he was he was the best character in um Rise of Skywalker, if you ask me. Yep. And yeah, Carl uh, Weathers, he's looking, looking, looking clean, man. Mm -hmm. He's the what he's was the name up of in the world? Planet? Yeah, what was the name of the planet he took over in season one? Um, oh, no, wasn't it? It was it Tatooine. He took over. No, nah, not Tatooine. Uh, but it was uh, man, I'm slipping on it. But I know that was um, that that dates back to season one. But it's great to like you said, it's great to see him, um, you know, coming up in the world for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm trying to find that name, but I think they're giving us some more Indiana Jones stuff here. Let me see here. Harrison Ford cries <clears throat> on stage after the first Indiana Jones. Oh, that's that's cool, man. That's I mean, enough. you know, he still loves what he's doing. Exactly. It's not a paycheck for him. This is a character that he that he obviously knows. I mean, he's one of the few actors that has multiple iconic characters. Han Solo, you know, yeah. uh, Indiana Jones, and and so many more characters. So it's it's Jack nice. Ryan. Jack Ryan, exactly, man. This is this is a legend, man. This is a legend on stage, and I also like uh, what's her name, Phoebe Waller. Phoebe um, Waller Bridge. Oh yeah, man. She, great, her bro. writing is a, it's incredible. She's such a great writer. Yeah, she's also. I don't know if you ever seen Fleabag, but she's also a really good actress too. Very, very. I saw clips. I didn't watch yeah, the whole thing, but she's great. But I saw. I liked. Fantastic. That show is uh fantastic, man. Um, but yeah, man. I'm, I'm gonna and also too. Isn't Matt Mickelson? Isn't he in this film? Is he? It'd be awesome. I think, yeah, I think he's the villain in the film, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, man, no, make, there's only so many people I would love to be an antagonist, and Matt is one of them. Oh, yeah, he's, like, born to play a villain and everything. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Navarro was the name of the town or the city or the planet or whatever. No, oh, okay. The ruler of. Um, I wonder if they're going to give us a trailer for Indiana Jones 5 or a teaser, at least. Let me see. When is Indiana? I think it comes out next year. Hey, brother, I got to take off already. So, yeah, uh, man. Hey, with it's, you, man. it's always good seeing you, brother. Uh, hopefully, uh, we get some bombs later today with Marvel and we can chop it up on She Hulk next Thursday. Yeah. All right, man. Later, brother. Take care. All right, y'all. Um, shout out to Justin, man. Such a great guy. Um, like I said, parent of the year. Sons on Marvel, sons on Star Wars, just a great dude overall. So shout out to Justin, man. Um, let's see. Indiana Jones is scheduled for June third. Okay, yeah, we we got to get a trailer today. Well, we don't have to, but I would assume they're going to give us or at least give the audience a trailer because it comes out next next summer. So <clears throat> I would imagine some teaser, some trailer. Well, like they they literally said that they showed he cried because they showed footage. So. Indiana Jones is revealed on yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure they're showing footage. Harrison Ford says Indiana Jones is fine. <laughs> and water is wet. Yes, this is your final time. I would imagine so, Mr. Harrison Ford. But this is his final time. This is it. I'm not going down. <laughs> I would uh, I would think so. I would think so. how old and 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 not to bring the man's age up, but how old is uh Mr. Harrison Ford? I'm pretty sure, pretty confident that he is early 80s, exactly 80. July 13th, 1942. So he will be 81 by the time this film is out. He's from Chicago. Oh, I didn't know that. Shout out to, I'm, if you guys don't know, I'm from Chicago. So shout out to, to, to Harrison Ford. I knew it was the reason I liked him. He's, he's from Chicago, man. That's what's up. Um, 
I'm looking at the cast. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Matt Mickelson, Boyd Holbrook. Oh, my goodness. Toby Jones, Antonio Banderas. Damn. Okay. Again, like I said, guys, the, the biggest reason I'm, I'm l- slightly looking forward to this film is I'm a big James Mangle fan. I think that dude has not made a bad film to date. Um, like I said, 4V Ferrari, man, was one of my favorite films. What was that, 2019? Logan, fantastic. I mean, such a great director. Such a fantastic director. He has not made a bad movie. Um, Walk the Line. What else did he do? Girl Interrupted. I know he did it. I did not know that. He did Girl Interrupted, 310 to Yuma, uh, Wolverine, which was okay. Night and Day, okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, not, not all his films are hits. But again, 4V Ferrari, Logan, 310 to Yuma, Walk the Line, Girl Interrupted, Cop. I did not know he did Copland. The uh, one of my favorites, Sylvester Stallone performances. Oh, th- again, just proves my point. <laughs> James, James Mac, uh, James McAvoy, James Mangle is fantastic. Um, sorry, so let's see. I'm, I'm pretty sure the Disney st- or the Star Wars stuff is probably rapid. Oh, Marvel's up next, y'all. Marvel is up next, which means they're going to end on Avatar. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, it makes sense. Again, the most profitable, most uh, box office film to date. So I, I guess it makes sense. Who's ready? Oh, man. Let me stretch. Let me stretch. Let me stretch. Let me. Uh, oh, this Marvel stuff, y'all. Before we get into Marvel, let me do a little quick promotion. If you all don't know, we have been sponsored on the channel for a couple different companies, and we have a brand new company that I'm working with, and I'm very excited to talk about them. Uh, For all my movie fans, TV fans, and also art fans, let's hear a word from one of our new sponsors of the channel, which is Movie Palette. Movie Palette is a distinct way to enjoy your favorite movie displayed artistically on canvas. Their palettes are carefully crafted by digital artists who choose the dominant color from each scene from your favorite movie. These vibrant colors are arranged side by side in stripes on high quality canvas. The stripes are displayed in chronological order and the width of each one corresponds with the length of the movie scene. The result is an intriguing piece of artwork that gives you a unique view of the movies that you've seen many times before. Four. Now, if you can't find your favorite movie listed on their website, don't worry. You can still enjoy it displayed on the canvas. Simply tell them the name of the movie along with the year it was made, and they will create a custom movie palette just for you. Movie Palette is a distinct way to enjoy your favorite movie displayed artistically on canvas. Their palettes are careful. All right, so shout out. Let me uh, let me make myself uh, bigger here. Here we go. So shout out to Movie Palette, y'all. This is what they I just hit myself in the head. Uh, this is what they sent me in the mail the other day. Uh, my man Brandon figured out which which movie this was from. I'll give you a hint. Uh, it's one of the greatest films of all time. <laughs> it's my favorite Christopher Nolan film. It's Interstellar. So again, Movie Palette is a company that puts could put your all the frames in the movie in this piece of art here. This is a pretty again. I don't know if the size if it, if it really shows you. I'm gonna put it on my wall soon, but it puts every frame in this piece of art, and they do all movie shows. And if you don't see a movie on their website, you can um, you know tell them a movie and they'll go ahead and make the art piece for you. So what a, what a beautiful piece of art here, movies, TV shows. Um, you can use my discount code. I believe, uh, if it's not in the description of the video now, it will be by the end of the video, but you can get 15% off of movie palette. Uh, again, for any of my movie fans, TV fans, art fans, it's a fantastic company. So again, shout out to our sponsor, uh, movie palette and, uh, very excited to be a part of their, uh, you know, their brand and, and get this beautiful piece of art here from one of my favorite sci-fi films of all time. So, all right. With that being said, back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's see any, any, okay. Ooh, we, okay. Marvel, 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 Marvel. Oh, what we got here. What we got here. Let's see. Kevin Feige says he's a little shocked after watching any of what? Kevin Feige says he's a little shocked after watching any of Jones five footage as it began. Okay, he's just probably like a nostalgia, loves that character. I understand. Cool, cool, cool. Live performance from <laughs> that's funny. They're playing the <laughs> the Rogers musical. That is hilarious. Um final predictions, y'all. Final predictions in the comments. Will we get the Fantastic Four announcement as far as the cast, officially the director? X-Men, Deadpool 3, Blade, Wakanda, new trailer. I mean. Young Avengers, who's directing Secret Wars, who's directing Shang-Chi 2, when is Shang-Chi 2 coming out, Doctor Strange 3, when is that coming out, 
so much, so much. Oh my gosh. He's already began. He's already began. He's talking. Kevin Feige, he, you know, he has his hat on, his legendary hat on. He's probably re- wearing Wakanda's hat today. Uh, am I right? Which can I zoom in? Which, which hat is he wearing? I can't tell. That picture's too blurry. Uh, but he's on stage. He is on stage. All right. Time for some exciting announcements, y'all. Oops, went back to my homepage. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Uh, he's on stage. Let me let me go to the comments here. What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? And again, uh, just like I did with Justin, if anyone wants to join into the live stream when we talk Marvel, put a one in the chat. Um, well, the, the live stream should be already in the chat, but let me <clears throat> let me put it in here. Let me get it queued up. So if anyone wants to join discussion for Marvel announcements, put a one in the chat, and I'm going to be sharing the link to the stream yard so you guys can come in, click. Things right this time. Click this link to join the stream for MCU. All right. So I'm going to queue that up and I'm going to share it once the announcer starts rolling in. <clears throat> All right. Let me refresh this page. All right. We know that they got the performance going on. That's that's fun. That's funny. I, I thought that was uh, one of the best elements of that Hawkeye show, which if you don't know, I am not a fan of that series. I thought that they missed out on a lot of interesting story with Ronan and the ramifications of that. I thought Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop was fantastic. I thought Elena was great. Hated Kingpin. Did not really care for Echo. Um, so wasn't a fan of Hawkeye. But the musical was pretty cool. <laughs> and that musical is like seven minutes long. So we're, we're probably we're not going to get any announcements until the next seven minutes or so. But that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. They're just prepping us. You know, they're just getting us ready. They're just getting us ready, y'all. Uh, all right. Josh is going to come in a little bit later. I'll share that link in a little bit, Josh. Uh, Sun Mine, he wants to get in. He or she wants to get in. My man Tyrion, awesome. I will be sharing that link here in a little bit um, once they get those trailers and announcements rolling out. Yeah, Marvel time, baby. Um, I'm surprised they didn't show us the trailer. That's kind of weird that they didn't show us anything as far as uh, <clears throat> Indiana Jones 5. He's back out now. Oh, he's back out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. The musical is over. All right, all right. What's, what's Mr. Kevin Feige? All right, more. What is this? Oh, more of that Tales of the... Tales of the Hood, Tales of the Jedi. <clears throat> Man, I, I, why am I nervous, yo? Like, I, I, <laughs> so I think the reason I'm nervous is because if they announce uh, Denzel Washington in the MCU, John Boega, Jody, Jody Comer is announced to be Sue Storm. But again, if they announce Denzel Washington is a, bar, is a part of the MCU, I'm going to pass out on the street. I'm, I will literally pass out, bro. Oh my gosh. Uh Nathan Avatar. No, not yet, Nathan. Apparently they're gonna be saving Avatar for the last part of the panel. So maybe the last 20 minutes or so. Which I guess makes sense because it's the you know, like I said earlier, it's the biggest grossing film of all time. So saving the best for last, I guess, you know, because they, they definitely got a lot of a lot of money riding on this film. And of course, you know, you got to follow up for a sequel that's uh 13 years in the making, so it's crazy. All right, all right. Can this performance end? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get, let's get the. Okay, all right. Here we go. First up is Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. So probably a new trailer. Probably bringing out some of the cast. Um, I don't know if y'all can see my screen. Can you see it on the screen? Yeah, yeah. Y'all see Doctor Doom is trending. Listen, I don't, I don't like to speculate too much, but there are rumors. That Doctor Doom might be in this film, a la a post credit scene, that he's going to be revealed to be the one that has been uh, that set up this war versus uh, the Wakandans and the uh, not the uh, Atlanteans. They changed their origins. Uh, I can't remember where they're from, but oh man, Krasinski's trending. Spider Man Four is trending. I don't know why that's trending. They're not going to announce anything. Spider Man, because that's a Sony project in collaboration with Marvel. Okay, okay, okay. Ryan Cooler says he is still editing editing process and cutting room for Black Panther. Okay. That's not surprising. The film doesn't come out to another two months. You know, that's that's kind of part of course. And I think I read the other day that they're actually doing reshoots. They shot like a couple scenes um earlier this week. So yeah, who knows what those reshoots in entail? Is it post-credit scene, Dr. Doom? Is it 
I don't know. Opening the door for another T'Challa. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll find out in November. Was it November eighth? November eleventh? <sighs> but I definitely anticipate a trailer. Another trailer. Um. Oh, we got some more. We got some more. Oh, damn it! Exclusively, new footage from Black Panther: Wakanda Forever is being shown exclusively. God damn it! Um. Well, I'm I, I'm following some other people. I'm sure there's people gonna say what the trailer is the footage so i'm gonna keep an eye out for that a little bit later today or when we uh by the time the stream is up i'm sure someone's gonna have details of what that trailer entailed uh, so we'll we'll get some we'll hear about it we just won't see it unfortunately which again it makes sense it's it's you're there to see it. They're going to give you exclusive content um but like i said i'm sure someone's going to let us know the description of that trailer and i wouldn't be surprised what's the next well, obviously, that's the next big film coming out in November. They'll probably premiere whatever this footage is, if it is a trailer. They'll probably show that, like, some Monday Night Football in the next couple coming weeks. Because um, that's, if you all remember, 2018, that was the first time they premiered a trailer. Was that a, it was either a college football game or a Monday Night NFL game. That's when they first premiered the first Black Panther trailer. So I would imagine we'll get a new trailer in the next coming weeks because football starts this Sunday. So, do, 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 do. Let's see. Any any other news? Any other new? <clears throat> Is anyone in the comments talking about the trailer? Let me see. Let me go to my homepage and see if anyone's talking about the footage. Yeah, a lot of House of the Dragon stuff on my timeline. Um. Oh, they got someone actually took a clip of it. Uh, no, nah, no one. No one's talking about it quite yet. But like I said, I'm 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 sure people will be. Not leaking, but describing what they saw in this footage. Again, is it a trailer, a teaser? Is it just behind the scenes? Um, who knows? Who knows? But I would imagine we will know that by the end of the day, probably in the next hour or so. Uh, let me check in with the chat. What y'all talking about? Let's see. Let's see. Excuse me. Um, Tyrion says, I predict the Ant-Man trailer for sure, Tyrion. I, I hope so. Um, I would love to see. Hey, Kenny, if you don't know, that's my favorite show. That's my favorite Disney Plus show uh, is Loki. <clears throat> Season one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I might pass. Yeah, bro. Listen, man. If they if didn't. Bro. If he, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Um, doesn't the panel end in 30 minutes? Yeah, it's supposed to be at two. But if you remember, they said the same thing at Comic-Con. But they, they definitely extended their time. They were on stage for like 30 more minutes after they were supposed to wrap up which it's Marvel. They can do that, right? All right, let me refresh this page here and see if there's any more Wakanda Forever news. No, they're still showing footage. I would, if they're, this has been three minutes, I would imagine that's a trailer since in, in discussing films, they're pretty quick on the um, the trigger there when it comes to news. Um, let me see, D23. Let's see if anyone else <clears throat> is tweeting about this. Let's see, yeah, they just tell me, yeah, Wakanda. Yeah, really, no one talking about. Let me see. Oops, I copy this. Do, 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 do. Let me see if anyone is talking about Wakanda forever. There's some footage details. Do, do, do. And they just talking about they're showing some footage. Kevin Feige teases the multiverse saga. It wants to show us some footage. Yeah, we already, we already know that. All right, so nothing quite yet. Still in the editing process. We know that. And the footage is exclusive. Oh, there's Mr. Coogler on stage. All right, so nothing big yet. The cat. Oh, they're all, oh, that's dope. That's uh, that's dope. We got uh, who we got? We got Namor, Mbaku. Oh, Angela. Look at bro. Look at Angela Bassett. She is man. Stella ain't never lost her groove. Man, she is beautiful. Um, you got uh, so Winston Duke, Letitia Wright, uh, Ryan Coogler himself, Kevin Feige. Man, look at man, Angela Bassett, bro. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, man. All right. Um, okay, so we got a little bit more of a of a 
tagline. Black Panther Wakanda Forever focuses on the rest of the world trying to capitalize on getting Wakanda's resources when they're at their weakest. Yeah, I think we kind of assume that. Um, hence the rumors of Doom trying to take his shot to get some of that vibranium, um, but also makes sense for other other uh, outside sources trying to get their hands on some vibranium. So I think we kind of knew that. It's not too surprising there. Uh, but again, when they're at their weakest, uh, a la, you know, T'Challa, which I'm just, I, I, I'm so curious on, on what the reasoning of his passing away, how they're going to handle that. Again, shout out to E-Man from E-Man Movie Reviews, hashtag uh, recast T'Challa. Uh, and again, you can go on his website, uh, I believe it's change.org slash uh, recast T'Challa to really get a full understanding of what the message means. It's not taking anything away from the teacher, right, as, as Shuri taking on the role. It's just the, the, the idea of not killing off the character. You know, rest in peace to the, to the great Chadwick Boseman. Um, but, you know, like I said, Black Panther is a fictional character. And there's so many more, you know, stories to be told with that character. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really interested to see how they handle that. That's going to be very, very interesting to see if it's a little bit too close to reality in regards to if he passed away due to illness or, you know, is it is this a play into the script with Namor and the flood? Like, I don't know, man. I really don't know. But I know one thing, man. I'm going to be in that theater. Tore up crying from ears nose mouth every part of my body man because it's just it's gonna be an emotional journey d23 expo footage of black panther wakanda forever included okay so we got some more descriptions included a lot of namor action including him fighting mbaku yeah we saw that in the trailer with mbaku jumping off of that boat so that's cool but i mean listen mbaku you know you're my man but i mean that's that's if, if they're going to the comic book or he's a, he's a mutant so he has <laughs> superhuman strength and quickness and agility and all that different stuff so i don't know if it's going to be it's going to be a pretty quick fight um in baku so we'll see man but shout out to mbaku and i'm really excited to learn more about this this interpretation of namor because they're obviously switching the lore he's not from atlantis and all that stuff so um but we got some some footage a lot of namor action that's cool man because from that first teaser we saw a lot of you know, him being stoic, him being a king, you know, him holding his hand up like enough of this shit. <laughs> I'm taking over. So I'm, I'm 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 glad that they're showing a little bit more of him in action. Uh, and, I, and I would imagine those action sequences are on fire, bro. Um, but OK, cool, 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 cool. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's see. Let's see. It would be hard to top that first. Yeah, that first one, it was it was a pretty powerful. The best part to me was. uh. Angela Bassett, her speech was just was 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 was, was amazing. Very very good speech. Very you could tell that was from the heart. Name more footage. Looks like yeah. I mean, it looked like they're showing a lot of action, a lot of action, which I'm here for. Yeah yeah. Press that thumbs up, y'all. Hit that thumbs up. I uh, appreciate every single one of you all. Shout out to Justin that joined the stream not too long ago. Talk Star Wars. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got some Wilson Duke describes Wakanda as a very different place following. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got to take that to account. A uh, very different place following Avengers Endgame with better evolved tech. Yeah, I mean, just from, you know, my biggest thing too with obviously Wakanda was between Infinity War and Endgame, no T'Challa, no Shuri, you know, who was the ruler? Was it? You know, um, the queen, was she ruling Wakanda? Was there someone else who who had the mantle during that time, right? Uh, so that's the stuff, too, that I'm very intrigued to learn more about. And obviously, the floods, man. I mean, y'all got to know, this is this is serious business. This is comic book accurate as far as Namor flooding Wakanda, man. This is some powerful stuff, man. So I'm here for uh, learning more about the world of Wakanda, which, again, this goes back to I would have thought it would have been a better choice to postpone this film for a couple years and give us the Wakanda series um, first to establish more of that world. And then, obviously, okay, so let me scroll down. All right, so what do we got here? Um, yeah, we already know the cast was on stage. Shout out to them. And they talk about, yeah, we got footage. First clip. Oh, so they showed a clip. Okay, it was showcase. Oh, hold on. Actual description. Oh, let me hold on, y'all. The direct has actual 
information on what they actually show. Let me share the screen with you all so we can know what was this scene or this clip that they gave us or that they gave the audience. All right, all right let me scroll down. First clip of Black Panther 2 was released in D23 to save love film. Jerry Bozeman. Wow, we might get a lot of just the first time. Okay, another look at Wakanda Forever. Got another moment in the spotlight. First clip of the sequel. The footage shown exclusively to audiences gives them a glimpse of at the UN meeting in which various nations around the world are frustrated with the Wakanda. Frustrated with Wakanda for selling vibranium. What? Hold up. There's why would they be selling vibranium? I mean, I know that kind of ties to the first one with with Killmonger's. Okay, hold on, selling vibranium on the open market. That that sounds that's sweet. I don't I don't know, man. I don't, that, that sounds okay. This leads to the queen saying the dangerous potential of uh, vibranium, but the dangerous potential of you. Okay. From there, it is noted that Wakanda's protectors, Chadwick Boseman and T'Challa, is gone before going into. An elevated fight scene between Dora Milaje and a large group of soldiers. Uh, those at Anaheim based event were told the upcoming sequel will focus on the rest of the world. Yeah, we, we saw that. Okay, so really not too much. Wait. So are they willingly selling vibranium? This leads the queen to saying the dangerous potential of vibranium, but the dangerous potential of you. I'm going to have to see that clip because I. Yeah, I know they were opening up the the you know opening up the world to Wakanda, but I didn't think that that entailed them selling vibranium like it's. I mean, again, I guess it ties into the Killmonger's message, but okay, all right, we'll see. Can't judge it because I haven't seen it and I don't know the context of it. But all right, let me just go back to <clears throat> Twitter and see what they talking about now. All right, so up next is Ironheart, new logo, very cool. We know Anthony and Ramos and. Uh, Dominique Hawthorne, if that's her name. No, that's not her name. But Dominique, 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 Dominique. I like her as an actress. Um, she was great in um, Fred Hampton film. What is her name? Um, but I like her as an actress. I'm really excited to see her as Riri Williams. What is her name? I'm slipping on her name at the moment. Yeah, Dominique Thorne. What else? I said Hearthorn. Her name is Dominic Thorne. Um, Ryan Cooler, we know he's an executive producer in Daisy Beauty. Oh, a teaser. Fingers. Can, can I see a teaser? Please, please, please. Are you, are you going to release a teaser for us to see? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, we know about Anthony Ramos. Great actor. He's playing the hood. We all know. I'm not too familiar with the hood. From what I understand, uh, first off, that's a <laughs> that's a pretty cool image there. I, I, I posted a video. There were some set photos that, that came out a couple, like a month ago, and I shared it on my uh, one of the YouTube shorts. But yeah, two pistols, man. I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he comes from kind of that mythical, you know, supernatural side of the MCU, which I guess supernatural, you know, you know, the first thing I'm thinking of is the Midnight Suns. But other than, outside of that, I'm not too familiar with the hood, but I'm excited to learn more about the hood. Who's to say that he might not be involved with, um, you know, the Thunderbolts, you know, they're recruiting people. Let me look up more on his story. <clears throat> he has... Criminal mastermind, marksman, basic training, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Doesn't seem to have – and has some mythical abilities. Okay. Well, I'm just going to let the series explain who the hood is because it's not going to be comic book. You know, they don't just take every aspect from the comics. They kind of remix it a little bit. Uh, Kevin Feige calls Black Panther Wakanda forever the biggest thing they have ever – What the biggest thing they have – maybe the significance of it, but the biggest thing I would imagine that they've ever done is – Infinity War and Endgame, but man, I think he's talking about maybe impactful is maybe the comments because he said this will repeat. Kevin Feige calls Black Panther Wakanda Forever the biggest thing they have ever. I think as he's talking about because of the obviously the the death of Chadwick Boseman, you know how to continue the story and, and you know Namor and, and Dooms involved. So maybe that's what he's referring to, just the emotional impact of the film. But I mean, if they're talking about this is like production wise, the biggest thing they've done. That that surprised me because I would have thought that was in game and uh, Infinity War. Um, but I think he's just talking about the emotional weight, how big it is, and how important it is to the to the world. So and you know, understand and understandably so. Um, let's go back here. Oh, next up is Ant Man. So they didn't they did they did not show any footage for Ironheart. 
Iron Heart explores the battle between magic and tech. That's cool. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's, that sounds on brand to me. Um, all right. All right. Let's see what we got here next. Let's see. We got uh, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium. Can we get a trailer, please? Can, can, can you release the trailer that y'all showed at Comic Con for I can see the Kang Gang? Can we get that? Can we get that Kang Gang? Come on now. Uh, Ant Man, yeah. I, I, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, I'm not Ant. I, Ant Man won, for what it's worth, a fun family adventure fighting for his daughter's love and approval heist film to an extent. But I didn't take that seriously. Ant Man and the Wasp, I, I have only seen that film literally like two times in my life. I'm, I'm, I don't revisit that too much. Uh, you know, obviously understanding the significance of the quantum realm and Janet Van, you know, Janet um, and all that stuff. But I, I'm not the biggest fan of that film. But I am hopeful for this movie. Uh, Kang Gang, all day. I'm really excited for that. Modoc, you know, has been confirmed to be in the film. So, again, not the biggest Ant-Man fan, but I am very excited for Jonathan Majors. To make his debut, well, not his debut because he was in Loki, but it was he was playing He Who Remains, not playing Kang. This is going to be the Kang, the Conqueror. So I'm really excited to see that. And, and, and I'll be honest, I mean, I like Paul Rudd. I think he's cool, man. He's a cool dude. Evangeline Lilly, I like her as Wasp. Obviously, uh, everything with Hank, Pym, and, and Janet, um, and learning more about the older version of Casey and her taking on. We talked about Young Avengers, her taking on that mantle of stature. Some people are speculating <clears throat> that Ant Man might be taken off the board in this next one, which you know, from a story arc, would probably make sense. But I mean, Paul Rudd's such a great actor, man. I would want to see him in that role forever. Uh, well, not forever, but as long as he can. I would think. If anything, Hank's gonna die to kind of end that legacy of the character and, and to officially, you know, let Scott Lang be, you know, this is the more pseudo version, of, which he is Ant Man in the MCU, obviously, but I'm just referring to to have that weight and that, you know, that depth and the seriousness. I would think that they would probably kill off uh, Hank Pym before they would kill off Scott Lang, but I could be wrong. Like, pfft, Kang, <laughs> Kang wipes out everyone. <laughs> but that, anticipate that. And, and I think Bill Murray's in the film, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's, I'm more. I have never been more excited for an Ant Man film. I'll just say that. I have never been more excited for it, and it's really all due to the part of uh, Jonathan Majors more than anything. Can we get some footage, please? Can we get some footage, please? Please, please, please. All right. Yeah, Kang Gang, Kang Gang, Kang Gang. We need to get a T-shirt with that Kang Gang. We better get it. Out. That's what I'm saying, bro. We need that. We need that. Kang is going to be the selling point for the film, considering that he's the character. Yeah, that's and, and and that's what I mentioned earlier, Tyree. And when I said that, I think we're going to get that Fantastic Four casting today because I think Fantastic Four is going to need to help Ant Man and his whole crew because they're going to need as much help as they can to go against Kang. So I anticipate some fantastic news <laughs> a little bit later today because I think we're going to get them in this film. All right, all right. They're probably getting uh, everything situated and lights getting dimmed and 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 Peyton Reed and the cast coming out and Jonathan Majors coming out. All right, all right, all right. Where we at? Where we at? Been three minutes now. Can y'all can y'all give me an update? What, what we we doing? Here we go. Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum directly links to Avengers: King Dynasty. I mean that. That makes sense. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Um, because let me pull up the map here, guys. Ant Man and the Wasp Quantum Manium, February 17th, 2023. And then fast forward to two years later, November, oh, I'm sorry, no, May 2nd, 2025. So two year difference. Uh, it makes sense that that would tie into that film. And going back to that, I just said a couple minutes ago, Kang Dynasty. That means that whatever happens in that man, the Wasp, Quantumanium, they ain't stopping Kang. They didn't stop Kang. He stopped them. Does that mean Ant Man is dead? Does that mean the whole Ant Man family is off the table, minus Casey, Cassie Lang, and and someone mentioned earlier, Young Avengers? That would make sense that she would be a Young Avengers to change the past, to bring back her family. Um, man, you talk about dark and anonymous. That would be a very dark ending if everyone died except for Cassie, and she obviously joins the Young Avengers because she lost her family. She has to get a new family in the form of Young Avengers. So, yeah, I'm pretty confident 
that whatever happens in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumanium is not going to end well for our heroes. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to die, but maybe he locks them in a, in a time prism where they're trapped in time. They're trapped in the quantum realm, which might go back to my theory about Fantastic Four. Where have they been this whole time? Well, they've been trapped in the quantum realm. They've been trapped in one of those cities, uh, and they get free, but then Ant-Man, you know, swap them out or whatever the case may be. So <clears throat> that makes sense, man. That makes a lot of sense. And again, I I'm, I'm feel so confident. I feel like 95% sure that we're going to see them in this film because the ties to Ant-Man or to Lang in, in, in the Fantastic Four is just like hand in hand. It just makes some, oh, here we go. We've got some more quotes. Let's see. Paul Russ says Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania is unlike anything you've seen before from, from the Ant-Man. Yeah, no, no shit. Uh, because the other stuff before has been, like I said, a little bit more kitty, but with the small character doing something so big. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of obvious to me. How do I say this? This to me feels like it's going to be more of a Captain America, civil war type of story where it's a bigger story than maybe the character. And, and, and I'm not saying that for, for, Captain America, because that was obviously very integral to the story. But I'm saying for this version of Ant Man, I think that the story is bigger than the character. It is more of a an entry point to you know obviously Kang, Kang Dynasty. So that's if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say here. I think that the story is going to be is going to need a bigger. And if I'm being honest, I wish it was a different character they were introducing Kang to. But I think that the story is going to be so much larger than Ant Man himself. So I think it will be Ant Man, his crew. But again, I think Fantastic Four are going to be involved. I think there's going to be some other characters that's going to be involved. We know Modoc's going to be involved. So I think this film is going to be much bigger than any of the films, the previous two Ant Man films, um, to say the least. And, and to be fair, Ant Man has always been <coughs> kind of a, a, a jumping point to bigger things in the mcu like we really haven't explored the quantum realm that much right we use it in, in game for time travel purposes but ant-man introduced a quantum realm part two explored a little bit more and it just makes sense that the quantum quantum medium ties more into it so it's it's always been a, a kind of a, a a gateway into some of the bigger things for a small and it's kind of funny kind of all pun intended such big events for a small character. So kind of kind of funny in that sense. But Randall Park returns and Johnny um Jimmy Woo. Yeah, yep. He comes from part two. So I would I expect that. I, I wonder if Dor uh what's her name? Darcy, if she's gonna be in it. Because obviously she was in WandaVision and she was in Thor Love and Thunder recently. Again, I'm just trying to think of any other one cast member that they haven't announced yet. And I'm telling y'all right now, if Michael Pena isn't in this film. As Luis, I ain't seeing this. I ain't seeing this movie. I don't care. Kang gang all day. Yeah, we, we, we love Kang, but I ain't seeing this movie of Michael Pena. And I'm serious. I, I don't think they've announced that he's a part of the film. I don't think, well, T.I., they already said he's not back. And I think uh, the other dude that they work with, uh, I can't think of his name right now, he's not back. But, man, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm not seeing this movie if, if Luis is not in this movie, man. That's my guy. That is my guy. Oh, man. Oh, I wonder what the footage was with Ironheart. Um, let me know if I'm the only one in the chat. I'm I'm obviously joking. I want to see the film, but I'm gonna be very upset if we don't see Luis in Ant Man, uh, in, in Ant Man three, <clears throat> or if they like kill Luis. Like I'm I'm gonna be pissed. That's the next leader. You talk about where's the Avengers? Who's the next leader of the Avengers? It's Luis. <laughs> totally joking. But uh, let's see here. This is the Ironheart footage that was shown. According to uh, Empire Magazine, Anthony Ramos is looking villainous. Uh, oh, I forgot. Ariton. Um, Ariton. Uh, um, uh, good news. Uh, Solo. The solo actor. That's good that he's going um, to be in the series. because I know that that franchise kind of. Didn't work out, to say the least. Gets a brief fist bump from Riri Williams and Jim Barnes also featured potentially Riri's professor at MIT. Oh, so not nothing too crazy. All right, never mind. That wasn't even worth me looking into. They didn't really talk about it. Uh, okay, um, but I'm excited for for Riri and, and and all that stuff that's coming with that show. Um, when is that show, by the way? I think it's next year, isn't it? Bring up our map here. Um, where was Ironheart? Is fall of 2023. So next next fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, obviously we're gonna see her in Black Panther 2 and, and get her origins, I would imagine, her her whole backstory. 
<gasps> Finally, Werewolf by Night. That's supposed to be coming out next month, y'all. And Michael Giacchino, who's one of the best composers in Hollywood, is making his directorial debut. The reason I'm getting excited, there's many different facets to this. Number one, I'm a supernatural fanatic. I love vampires, werewolves, uh, all that stuff. Sorcery, all that stuff to me is just so fast. As a horror fan, that stuff's right up my alley. Werewolves in particularly, and Werewolf by Night. The reason I'm more excited about that is that opens the door to the supernatural elements to the MCU. If we got werewolves, we got vampires. If we got vampires, we got Blade. If we got Blade, we have other supernatural entities out there, and they're going to need to rally up a team to handle all the supernaturalness in the MCU. And I'm talking Blade. I'm talking Doctor Strange or Wong. I can take a Wong over Doctor Strange being part of the Midnight Suns. I'm talking Moon Knight. I'm talking Punisher. I'm talking Daredevil. I'm talking Ghost Rider. Can we get, can we get it? Can we get it? Come on now. Midnight. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. We're right now. They're showing some footage for that. I am so excited for this show. It's a special presentation. It's supposed to be like a an hour short film, I think. Oh, my gosh. This is exciting, man, because I'm a big, uh, like I said, I love supernatural stuff, and, I, and I'm very excited to see. Like, like I said, Michael Giacchino is officially revealed to be the, yeah, I think they announced that. Or, well, at least I knew about it months ago. Uh, Michael Giacchino, he, yeah, he's, cool. he's, a, he's a composer, if you all don't know. He's composed some of probably your favorite films. Uh, obviously, as he said, he did uh, No Way Home. He's also done, uh, he did Rogue One, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's also, he's just a fantastic composer, man. Michael Giacchino is one of the best, if you ask me. And I'm a big composer head. Hans Zimmer's the GOAT. Uh, I love, Ledwig's one of my favorite uh, composers out there. And, and Michael Giacchino's up there to me. Um, so him making his directorial debut is really, really cool to me, man. He's been a part of some amazing projects. So it only makes sense that he, you know, kind of gets in front of the camera to allow uh, us to see how talented he is. Let me go back to this. Yeah, The Incredibles, um, so many Mission Impossible, Ratatouille, uh, Cloverfield, Star Trek, Up, uh, so many things. Let me in. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me in. <clears throat> Super 8, 50 50. Like I said, Mission Impossible, uh, Don the Planet of the Apes. I mean, he has done so many great things. The uh, the new Doctor Strange, Jurassic Park. He's, 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 he's a legend out here in these streets, man. Uh, I wonder if they're going to give us any footage. Oh, did I miss? What did they say about Ant Man? <clears throat> My neighbor is like, Mopping their floor and they're using bleach and oh my goodness, it's so strong. <clears throat> uh, new footage for Ant Man in the Wild. Scott the name shown shows Scott having to do a heist in the Quad oh, School in the Quantum Realm for Kang, or else he won't. Oh, oh, ooh. so he's oh, Kang's like, listen, dude, I'm gonna kill your whole family if you don't go ahead and get whatever you know he wants. Oh man. Having him do a heist in the quantum realm, and it goes back to the first Ant Man. He's you know a heist thriller, so oh, I like that. I like that a lot, man. I was hoping that Ka Casey uh, Cassie was going to be more involved. Uh, hopefully, they don't sign on her too much. Uh, but having to do a heist, what does he want in the quantum realm? What does he want? Or a person? Mm. What does he want Scott to get in the quantum realm? Oh my goodness, that is exciting. What is this here? What is this? Let's see, let's refresh, let's refresh. Yeah, I remember him. He's he was also in uh community too, wasn't he? Yeah, we yep, they already announced that he was gonna be the lead. Um, I want to see some footage from Midnight from uh, Werewolf by Night. That's what I want to see, man. I want to see the design of the of the of the uh the werewolf, man. Very curious. If this is going to be like more of the like underworld werewolf design. Um, I'm trying to think of some other big blockbuster werewolf designs. The Wolfman. Um, very curious, man. Very curious. Very very curious. Like, cause here's, I mean, like this is the comic book version of the character. Like, I wonder how accurate <sighs> werewolves, vampires, and MCU. I am so here for it. So excited for that, man. Um. But I would imagine we're going to have to get some footage soon because it's coming out next month, right? Come on now. You're going to give us a teaser, a trailer. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let me refresh the page. Oh, she's. Hold on. 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 Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Here we go. Okay, 
let's go. Let's go. Put a one in the chat if you guys can hear it. <clears throat> Halloween, you can't escape the shock, the terror of Werewolf by Night. Tonight, it is every hunter for themselves. Good luck. I'll be rotting for you. Is this? But one of you is a monster masquerading as one of our own. I can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are. What is this? <laughs> what the? You wanna see this, darling? Please don't do this. Death is coming for you! <laughs> What is going on? By night. Bro. Huh. Huh. I, I kind of, in a weird way, like that because it's completely different than what I imagined. First off, it's in black and white. Very kind of old 70s Hitchcockian vibes, especially the 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 uh the voiceover like we have it in the time like oh okay hold on man i i'm gonna have to replay that y'all let me let me work let me, let me, let me, rewind rewind hold on hold on hold on i was not anticipating that hold on. Okay. okay this halloween you can't escape and, and the what shock time is this a is this a a period like, where are they werewolf by night tonight it is every hunter and who are these for characters themselves. good luck i'll be rotting that's a little, for this is a little you. cheesy for me right here but but i'm here for the camp very sam raimi is a monster i'm trying to see a close-up of the character the as one of our own i can't wait to find out what breed of evil you are <laughs> And I said, listen, y'all, I saw some hands getting cut up. I saw some blood, which we were concerned about that with Blade. Wanna see? Yeah, see that? That's blood, bro. I mean, that's probably why they have it in black and white, so they can't get too explicit. You can't show all the blood. This, I don't like that Please wolf design. Hold on. That's probably the best shot of the wolf that we've gotten. It's right here. I mean, it is comic book accurate to a sense, half man, half wolf type of design. I'm gonna need to see a full buy. Hopefully, they, they release some steals, but I don't know, man. This is this is giving me some throwback '70s vibes, which I'm a horror fanatic to the core. So, this is, you know, speaking Please of that side, me. Death is coming for you. It's like an episode of uh, American Horror Story. Like, what is that creature? Where are they? <laughs> like, what is this a period piece? Is this another universe? Yeah! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? Look at that blood, bro. They got blood squirting on the screen. Marvel, Disney, what's going on? I love it. I'm here for it. Yeah. Blade's gonna get ready. Yeah. Yo, I'm trying to catch that. Looks like is that the swamp thing? Hold on, bro. Is that Swamp Thing, y'all? Again, we're 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 in the 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 thick of things. Hold on, oh, hold on, Secret Invasion trailer. All right, I'll talk about Moon Knight or uh, not Moon Knight, freaking Werewolf by Night. After we see this trailer for Secret Invasion, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back, Secret Invasion trailer. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, y'all. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay, all right. Let's see. Dude, that bleach is so damn strong. Who is that? For years? The Nick Fury, yeah. You've been avoiding Earth. But I have called for your help plenty of other times. And you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Maria? Yeah, well, 
This is different. I love this tone so far. No jokes. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about? <gasps> Don Cheeto, baby. Rody. Oh, this is Martin Freeman. Fury. Oh. We got to be very careful now. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here we go. Ben Kingsley. Not Kingsley. Uh, yeah. and, uh, You're in no go. shape for this fight that lies before us. It's a scroll. This is the beginning. Ah. This is my war Kaisi. alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. Oh, yeah, I'm loving this tone. Spy, espionage, who's a scroll, who's not? I think mean, that was the president. And what is that? Okay. I like the tone, man. Very grounded. Very grounded. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I like that much better than that. Uh, didn't throw me in the loop like <laughs> my night did. Um, yo, okay, 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 okay. We got some trailers, y'all. We got some thoughts here. I'm just scrolling down, see if I missed anything. Don Chino is here to talk about it, so he was on stage. Okay, black and white retro horror mystery. Yeah, we know that. We know that. I'm just seeing if I missed anything. I think we're all right. We're caught up. All right, thoughts. Okay. Let me rewind. Let me talk about where again. I thought Werewolf by Night kind of really threw me off. Y'all saw my reaction was kind of all over the place, but I think we saw, and I said Swamp Thing. Thank you in the chat. Man Thing. Um, this is a time piece, time period. Is in the future? Is it somewhere else in the world? I, I want to get more of the design of the Wolf Man um, or the Werewolf. Uh, I want to see more of a, of, a, of a you know full body of the character, and and I want to know. Um, how how dark are we getting? Because again, that trailer there was a lot of blood, a lot of guts. Well, not guts, but hands were getting chopped off, and blood was squirting on the screen. Man, it, we were worried about Blade, man, them neutering Blade. But it, it, it looks looks doesn't look like it's an MCU. I say that, so it's, it's definitely maturing, which is exciting. But Secret Invasion, um, that trailer, the thing that I liked about it was the tone, man. It, no jokes, no goofing around. Like, this is serious. Nick Fury, he said, like, yeah, I didn't take, you know, I was out of town when the, the kids were fighting the Civil War. You know, I was doing my thing during certain other events. But this is serious because he knows if the scrolls infiltrate every level of the government, it is Dunzo Rapunzo. Like, it's a done deal if they infiltrate every element of the government and the powers to be across the world. Um, that is not a good thing. And I love that we're kind of backtracking on there's different versions of scrolls because Captain Marvel gave us one version of the scrolls, one group of scrolls, which were good. Ben Middleson, his family, and all that stuff. But there's obviously super scrolls, there's villainous scrolls, there's scrolls that have different, uh, you know, obviously different ideologies than other scrolls. So I love that we're diving into that and again, hiding in the shadows. You know, this is spy espionage one on one, right? Quick shot of a gun, you know, some some very dark, ominous tones. I like this shot here. What is his name? Ben. I can't think of his full name right now. He's a great actor. He was great in uh, One Night in Miami. Um, and apparently, I think he's the villain of the show, um, which gets me excited. But which gets me more excited. First off, Olivia Coleman, Oscar-winning actress, fantastic. I love the talent. Marvel can do no wrong when it comes to casting. But let me show y'all who who really gets me excited. I love Don Cheeto there. Oh. That's who gets me excited, man. The queen. Khaleesi. Khaleesi, y'all. Making her way back to TV. We all know Jon Snow's in the MCU. He's, uh, you know, the Black Knight. So, yeah, I like this. And what was in that case? Was it a scroll's head? Look at the, the mask on the wall. Yeah, I like this, man. I think that was the president, too. That's in that car. Yeah, that, I think that's the president, y'all. Again, taking down all the powers that be to take over. I'm liking this, man. I'm really excited. The only thing that I'm not excited about is only six episodes. Like how how much of to the story we're gonna get into. That's what I'm concerned about. Uh low key. Okay, we got some low-key news here, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you don't know, 
one of my favorite films this year. Everything, everywhere, all at once. And one of the best elements, Michelle Yeoh was fantastic. Stephanie, who played her daughter, was fantastic. My man, Quan, who y'all might remember from Mr. Jones, uh, Indiana Jones and the Goonies. He took a long time off of Hollywood, but he came back in a big way. And now this news here that he's going to be a part of the cast. Like I said, much earlier in the stream, if you watched the streams we did last year with Loki Breakdowns, it's my favorite show on Disney+. Plus. That's awesome. I love that, man. I freaking love that. Did I miss anything? Oh, they talk Armor Wars? I miss that. What they say? Armor World War. Armor Wars begins filming next year and is set to be after Secret of Okay, that makes sense. And I think Don Cheeto is going to be a part of Ironheart as well. That makes it. There's Armor Wars, Secret Invasion. This is all leading to Doom, man. This is all Doom Wars, bro. They're setting all this stuff up for Doctor Doom for Phase Seven. I'm telling y'all, telling y'all. My man, Tom Hiddleston's on stage. You know, we got Sam Jackson looking cool. Footage, ah, oh, exclusively, ah, exclusively shown. Okay, I understand. I understand. I get it. I get it. All right, man. I'm wilding out right now. Let me get some people in the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and share the link. Now, so if anyone wants to come in and talk Werewolf by Night, Secret Invasion, Loki Season 2, what else did we talk about so far in Marvel? Um, Ironheart, Wakanda Forever, and we're probably going to get some Fantastic Four news right now. So anyone and everyone, I know uh, Tyrion said he wanted to come in earlier. Uh, we have some other people who said they want to come in. So go ahead and click that link, y'all. And come and join your boy, and let's talk about some of the news that we got so far. Let me know where you're at with all this news so far. Let me refresh the page. Wait, this isn't the panel for any. <laughs> that is great. That is great. Oh, my gosh. That's the funniest thing I heard all year. Wait, this isn't the panel for all. Uh, please tell me someone has footage of that. That is so funny. God damn. Again, like I said, y'all, the man, his career, he started off uh, as a young actor. And I think, you know, unfortunately, Hollywood, you know, isn't the greatest uh, place to kind of grow up in as a young actor. But oh, that's great. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Oh, that's great, man. Let me show y'all a picture of my man when he was younger. <laughs> <clears throat> the joke, like I said, the, the the inside joke is, let me pull up. This is him as a kid. He was in Indiana Jones 3, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that's why he's saying, wait, this isn't the Indiana Jones panel because he was in that film when he was a kid. So that's funny, man. I love that. That is so funny to me. That is that is great. That's great, man. I love it. I love it. <clears throat> All right. I wonder who he's gonna play. God damn, that's I can't even. I don't even know who's gonna play in that in that world. Obviously, they can create a new character like they did. Morbius isn't a, a Mobius uh, isn't a character in the comics. So, oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. What am I talking about? Um, but like the Bee Hunter characters, some of those characters were made up for the show, so he might be just a made up character, which I'm here for. That's great, man. That's that's the funniest thing I heard all day. This is a joke, right? Okay, that was man thing. Okay. I'm scrolling down because I don't I hope that's a joke, what I just saw. Which is this is what I saw. Kevin Feige says nothing to say about Fantastic Four today. I hope that that's a joke. And they just gonna he's gonna walk off stage and then boom, they're gonna put the please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. Please tell me that's a joke. That's gotta be a joke, right? Come on, y'all. Don't tell me that my man just walked off stage and didn't say anything about Fantastic Four. This this got to be a joke. Come on, come on, come on. This got to be a joke. This is a LOL, right, Kevin? LOL, ha, ha, ha. It's all fun and games. <clears throat> Let me see. Marvel Direct. They got some. They always up to date with stuff, too. They're talking about the footage and all that stuff. We got the trailer. Come on, bro. <laughs> they don't say anything. I mean, listen, it's not the end of the world, but if they don't say anything about Fantastic Four, that that's that's a bummer. That's a bummer. I, and if they don't say anything to me, that that to me indicates more than anything that we're going to see them a lot sooner than later. Like literally, there's been rumors that um, we're going to probably see. Um, who was it? The Thing and She Hulk. That's been a rumor out there. 
And then also there was a rumor, well, not a rumor, but uh, okay, hold on. Okay, I knew they were lying. I think we got some news now. Some that Matt Shackman, Shackman is officially the director. They're okay, but no casting. To, uh, oh, so they're for real. This is like for real, for real. I don't. I don't mean to not look overlook Echo. I do not care about this series. It's gonna really have to sell me on the trailer. But I mean, shout out to Echo and the crew and the cast. I'm sure the Daredevil writers are a part of this show. So hopefully, it's a great show. But I, I, I'm gonna see the trailer first. Max Chapman is officially directing. Okay, that's that's good. I mean, we all knew about that like a week ago, or more than a week ago. But um, no casting news. Huh. Okay. That to me, like I said, guys, that means that we're going to see them soon. That has to be. And the reason that I'm going to announce them because we're going to see them literally, I think, if rumors are to be said about She-Hulk, um, I don't see them in, in, in Wakanda. I don't see them being involved in that. But I, like I told you all, in February, I do anticipate the Fantastic Four to be in that film. So maybe, I don't know, but why wouldn't you? You can still announce them. But you don't have to say where they're going to be next. But Vincent D'Onofrio returns as Kingpin and Echo with a bandage over his eye. Well, yeah, we kind of knew that. But like I said, guys, if you don't know how I feel about Hawkeye, I feel like they completely destroyed this character. I was not a fan of the depiction of the this version of Kingpin so far. Hopefully him getting shot in the eye changes him dramatically so he can be the character that he was in the Daredevil Netflix series. So, I mean, this was kind of a given. I'm not surprised at all with that. They didn't kill him. You know, the, the idea that they thought that they killed him off in the end of Hawkeye was kind of laughable to me. Well, it wasn't kind of. It was laughable to me. Like, come on. Um, footage of Loki season two included, included a lot of Kang action from Jonathan Majors. Yes. And that's one of the big reasons. It was a big, I was a big fan of that. I thought it was one of the only finales that stuck the landing for me. And I thought he was great. So Kang, 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 Kang. He's going to be an Ant-Man. He's going to be in Loki. He's going to be in probably Fantastic Four. He's going to be, I've seen Kang Dynasty. The Dynasty is here, baby. Kang, Kang. I love it. <sighs> Let me see, man. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna try to be too rude about it. It's just I, I'm not that excited about it. We got the first look at Echo. Looks to be diving deep into the character's Native American heritage. Okay, some serious looking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I figured that is who's on stage. Is it is uh is that Vincent Narfio? Yep, he's on stage there. Um I don't know who the rest of these people are besides the actress who plays uh, Echo. I'm gonna give it a sh I mean, of course I'm gonna watch it. Like, come on now. I'm not crazy. I'm not a madman. I'm going to watch the show, but I'm just not excited because I don't think they set up the character properly enough to make me overly excited. Um, And honestly, I don't even know. I don't know that much about Echo. I would imagine it's going to be very grounded in reality. Obviously, street level, kingpin, becoming a mayor maybe. Um, I would imagine Daredevil is going to be involved. I think they've already announced that, that Charlie Cox is going to be on the show. I wonder if any other street level characters, a la Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, um, will be making an appearance. Punisher, possibly. Uh, but even putting that stuff aside, I want to learn more about Echo. I do because I didn't think I didn't think Hawkeye did a good job of giving us who the character is. Obviously, it wasn't her show, uh, which is another reason why I don't think they should even had her in the show because they didn't really give us anything with her, in my opinion. Um, but um, I'm. Like I said, I'm not overly excited at all for this show, but I'm I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful for it. Oh, he's a TVA employee. That's funny. I mean, who he must be a TVA employee for the the new timeline because obviously we know the TVA was destroyed at the end of the season, but then we know Kang is the ruler now. So interesting, interesting, interesting. So Avatar, man. I'm I'm kind of hey, Caitlin, how we doing? I think I like that, Justin. I like that a lot. That would explain the foolery. <laughs> from that finale man boo yeah like i said coop i would imagine if they didn't announce it today there's a reason for, behind that because we're going to see them probably relatively soon um yeah no deadpool watch deadpool do a panel <laughs> that would be funny but it doesn't look like it's the case man i'm still early for it's still early <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, I don't. I don't think it's because of the film. I think because they're gonna be putting them. They want to like leave their appearance as a big reveal. Like I think we're gonna see them again in Fantastic Four. I think we're gonna see them in Fantastic Four. And I think they want to use that as like a 
one of the reasons why not only because people want to see because of king and obviously it's an mcu film and then when people hear that the fantastic four in this film they're gonna run out to go see it multiple times so i think the reason they didn't announce them today is because um um because they're gonna come up in the, in the show on the movies pretty soon yeah yeah we saw that i'm gonna shout out to him i think uh shaq did a good job with with uh wandavision very great show um what is he? So, yeah, he, Max Shackman, he directed all of WandaVision. He's done episodes for Mad Men, Game of Thrones. Um, I think he did a couple. He just, he, he has a resume, uh, to say the least. He's definitely not like a nobody, um, in the sense of like this is his first time doing anything big, but it is his first big film. Like he's done a bunch of TV work, um, which is obviously different from film. But to give you a list of his credits here, Justin, he did a film called Cut Bank, which I, I never heard of. But again, as far as TV work, he's been Sunny in Philadelphia is one of my favorite shows ever. I love that show. He's directed that. Brothers and Sisters, The Nine, The Riches, What About Brian, Everyone Hates Chris, Men in Trees, Everwood, um, Six Six Feet Underground, Boston Legal, One Tree Hill, Mad Men, like I mentioned, um, Fargo, Great Series, The Good Wife, Game of Thrones, The Boys, Secession, WandaVision, The Great, and uh, apparently some MonsterVerse. Oh, he's doing that Apple TV Plus MonsterVerse show. But uh, he has the resume, bro. He has. He's a great storyteller, which at the end of the day, you know, the whole he's a TV director. What does that mean for film? Storytelling, storytelling. So if he can tell a good story, if he can direct a good story, you know, obviously it's a different scale as far as production goes, but I'm pretty sure he can, he can, he's gonna do a great job. He's a great storyteller. So I'm here for that directing. Um, he wouldn't have been my first choice, but I'm here for it. Uh, but yeah, the, the lack of casting news is very shocking. They need to start with, uh, Ralph. <laughs> again, Coop, I think they're just waiting to hold out because they're going to announce them, um, or not announce them, but they're just going to show up in the film. D23 has been off. Well, I wouldn't say that we've had some good stuff so far uh low expectations for yeah yeah that's true that's true um uh, yeah the more the better man i'm here for it is that oh let me re, let me refresh the page they're probably giving some avatar stuff yeah vincent denorfio don cheeto yeah so nothing nothing crazy yeah they're still talking about echo look marvel's still on stage y'all marvel is still on stage which means there might be a little hope that there might be one more, two more, big more things. A la Fantastic Four, a la Deadpool. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? It's filming next year. How hasn't it been? Ca yeah, it's, they've casted. Listen, the ca they know who's playing the character. They just haven't announced it yet. That's that's really what it is. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, no, no, no major bombs. The biggest bomb to me is my man from uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once is going to be in. <laughs> low key but yeah nothing too crazy like we were again we've been anticipating this for weeks now that it was going to be some craziness thanks there's no fantastic announcement because of leaks um i mean i, I would think the opposite like if there's they would want to jump in front of it just to be like let's just put it out there and and, and stop having people speculate was there any news about john boega no i don't think john boega had they didn't know yeah, as as uh, Ariel, yeah, yeah, Ariel, yeah, maybe. We've heard more echo. <laughs> That's true, man. That is true. Let me refresh this page here, guys, and see what we got. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, and leave Vincent, leave Vincent and Arfie on stage because he's gonna be a part of this. I like that logo too, by the way. Born again, very popular comic book run for the Daredevil character. Um, it, they kind of a, there was actually a lot of story beats in the last season of uh at least the last netflix season of daredevil a lot of this stuff was some of the storylines were involved in that not all of them and obviously they took some creative uh liberties but yeah i'm excited for this man 18 episodes daredevil born again begins filming 2023 with 18 episodes yeah 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 look at daredevil yeah man matt murdoch i i think we're gonna see him soon in the coming weeks on She-Hulk. We all know he's in the series. We already, they actually released a little sizzle, not a sizzle reel, but a mid-season trailer the other day. And, and we had, you know, he had some talking lines. He was talking to Jennifer Walters. Some people are speculating that they might get it on because she's like, I'm really digging this guy. So we'll see what goes on there. And I'm I'm really excited uh, to see more Daredevil in the MCU and see Matt Murdock and Charlie Cox play the character again. That's, that's exciting, man. Uh, 
All right, they're still on stage, y'all. They they are still on stage. So we I'm not sure. To, we might still get one more. One more. <laughs> I'm still hopeful of this Fantastic Four stuff. Uh, if their was not in TV, it made trash. <laughs> well, damn, Coop. I man, based on that Werewolf by Night trailer, man, they were showing some. Like I said, it was blood squirt down on the screen and stuff, man. We might, I don't think we're going to get as explicit as the first Daredevil. Like, I don't know if we'll see like sex scenes or, you know, some of the curse words that was on that show or um, heads being decapitated by car doors. Uh, but I anticipate some level of maturity for sure. Oh, no, please. Uh, Jen. <laughs> Again, it was, I'm just, it was in, in the trailer. She's like, I'm really digging this guy. So we'll see, man. Jen, Jennifer Walters and Matt Murdock, he would treat her the way she needs to be treated. That dude in last week's episode was a straight, he took an L, man. That, Jen, Jen Walters is a catch. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm curious, uh, curiously optimistic about the show, just worried about the character assassination of, of Karen Page. Um, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll we'll see what they do with, with Daredevil again. And we're going to get our first taste of him. Well, we, we actually saw him in the MCU in Spider-Man. And obviously, it was a small sample, but, you know, very similar in the, in the tone and the vein. A clip of Charlie Cox return as Daredevil is now being shown. Okay, that's cool. We, we, we uh, like I said, they show, you guys can Google it. They showed it yesterday, a mid-season trailer for the season, and they showed a clip of him talking to Jennifer Walters. And I think the line that he said to her, very Daredevil line, very Matt Murdock line, you can, what did he say? You can help people by law as Jen Walters, but then if the law fails them, you can help them as She-Hulk. So I like that. Very, like it's a very Matt Murdock, Daredevil line to say. Uh, and I would imagine that's probably the scene that they're showing them, if not more of them in action. <gasps> Uh-oh. Cap. Cap. Listen, y'all, like I said, it ain't over yet. It ain't over. This This panel is not over. They they might again. We might not get that Fantastic Four news, y'all. But you know who they might bring out. You know who they might announce. Look at July twenty eighth, twenty twenty four. We might get the official cast of the Thunderbolts. Yelena, Zemo, Ghost, Abomination. I don't know, y'all. There might be there might be room. Might be some room. Uh, for another, you know, at least a casting announcement. There's been rumors that, uh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Um, hello, hello, hello. Uh, my She Hulk fans out there, we were speculating who is the boss that they were referring to, and we were like, what if it's the leader, Tim? Blake Nelson will return as the leader in Captain America New World Order as the main villain. I like that. I like that a lot. Yo, that's dope, bro. That is really, really dope. First off, Tim Blake Nelson, if you don't know, one of the best actors in Hollywood. Uh, short changed in the 2008, but we didn't really get a lot of that character. That is so dope, bro. I'm just curious on where he's been this whole time for the last 10 years, 12 years. Maybe he's been running the Serpent Society. I think that was, you know, a lot of people have been speculating that that's who Captain's going to be facing as a Serpent Society. And maybe he's the leader of that group. Maybe he is the alt, like we were talking about the power broker and how lame that reveal was. I think the power broker is like an extension of the big boss. And like, it's like a, like a mantra, it's like a, a title. And maybe he's the big boss of the power broker. I like that. I f's with that. I like that a lot, bro. Yes, and, and we and we've been talking about it for so long. Who's gonna be the big Carl Lumley or what's her? W? Yes, that's a W. Oh, you 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 gonna be the new Captain America? You damn right. <laughs> Come on, yes, sir. That means if Isaiah Bradley's coming back, that means Elijah. His, his grandson is going to be back. Oh, Iron Patriot, baby. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 A better look at the Daredevil logo. Okay, the, that logo's fire. Yo, I am stoked. Danny. Oh, so Danny, uh, Damon, uh, Danny Ramirez. That's, um, 
he takes on the mantra of of iron or of uh, a falcon in the comics he was the the soldier if you guys remember danny he played the, the he was a good guy he was he was helping out sam and bucky in the, in the falcon winter soldier show so he's going to be in the movie which to me means he's going to take on that mantle of the next falcon man and, and i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure you know they're going to bring him back for that hell yeah okay i'm excited the leader he's back Okay, yes, Carl Lumley, he's back. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, and I know a lot of people were uh, paranoia, paranoia thriller. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's that's the vein of Captain America. Julius, man, I know some people were were crapping on him because, and uh, listen, that 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 uh, that movie, uh, uh, Cloverfield Paradox, was was terrible. I blame the studio more so than I do him because they were trying to combine the Cloverfield world and 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 they really mucked up the story. See, go watch Loose. Go watch Loose, starring uh, Calvin Harrison Jr., uh, Tim Roth, who's in the MCU, um, uh, Naomi uh, Replace, and, and uh, uh, Octavia Spencer. Go watch that film and and tell me you're not excited about this movie after seeing what he did in that movie. He's a very character focused character focused director who can tell a narrative, who can tell a story. That's what it's about, man. I, I love great storytellers, so I'm very excited for Julius. I know again he had an L on 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 Paradox, but I, I blame the studio more than I do him. Yeah, Danny. Like I said, yeah. If you guys don't remember, he was in Falcon Winter Soldier, and in the comics, Danny takes on the uh, the Falcon mantle. So I, I, I'm assuming. They're going to probably do the same thing in this film. I am really looking forward to it. And when does that come out again, guys? I know it comes out before the Thunderbolts, but let me pull up that that, that map here. <clears throat> perfect. Perfect middle of the summer, May 3rd, 2024. And it comes out right after. Yeah, that's those two. You might as well call that part one, part two, because it's going to, I think it's going to be a lot of crossover between these two films, because I think the Thunderbolts, um, <clears throat> Service Society, man. That's who they're going to be going against. It's going to start off with Sam and Bucky going against them. They're going to need more help taking on the Service Society, the leader, and all those different various characters. Oh, man. New World Order, bro. This is exciting, man. I'm really excited for that news. I'm, like, overly excited for that news, bro. That's great. Uh, I told people he needs. Are you talking about Carl Lumley? As yeah, yeah. Where is Monica Rambeau? Well, she. Um, well, we know she's going to be in the Marvels. Um, and she, also, shout out to uh, Tiana Paris. She just announced she's having, I think, her first her first born uh, baby. So that's awesome for her. Uh, which, to your point, uh, Tarian, maybe that's why we didn't have much news. She, she's got a baby to take care of, so we, we might not see her uh, in some of these future projects. But I, I you know, we're definitely going to get her in um, the Marvels. And maybe they were able to. Well, they haven't shot this film yet. When was the besides the Marvels? When would be the next time that we might we might see her in Secret Invasion? Because we know that she went up. You know, um, the scroll was like he wants to see you. So we might see her in Secret Invasion. So I, I, we're gonna get we're gonna get more Monica. You know, she uh, Tiana Paris is is definitely someone we're gonna get more of for sure. <clears throat> All right, let me refresh this page. Uh. Told y'all. I told y'all they was gonna give us that announcement, bro. Hold on, hold on. Who, who's the crew? Who's the crew? Who is the, who is this? Is that Val? Okay, we got Ghost, we got Red Guardian, we got Elena, Bucky, uh, US Agent, and oh, Taskmaster. Oh, damn it. I'm not a big Taskmaster fan, but gee, let's go. Okay. Wait, who is that Val? Who is that girl on the on the far left? Do they have a full I, is that Val? Like, who is that? Who's that girl on the far left, y'all? But we got Ghost. Uh, Ghost was cool. I didn't think she was the best, but I, I love what she can. She can. She can travel a multiverse like uh, America Travis. David Harbor as the Red Guardian with his daughter Elena. Oh, I love Elena. She's the. She's clearly the leader of the group. She's uh, which a lot of people were speculating she might be the leader of the uh, New Avengers, but she's she's rocking with the Thunderbolts. We got my man Bucky. Hopefully, hopefully, I pray we can get more of that Winter Soldier Bucky. No, uh, Sebastian Stan's great, and I love this new new page of life that he's turned. But I want that Winter Soldier Terminator kill. Ask questions later. I need that Bucky back. Uh, U.S. Agent. That's no surprise. Taskmaster. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. Who is this woman, guys? Is that Val? Like that doesn't look like Val to me. Who is this? Is that who is that with the purple hair? 
Is that a new character? That's not Val, is it? Am I tripping? Is that Val, y'all? Let me let me look in the comments. Echo. That's not Echo. Is that Echo? I mean, I guess that would make sense. They don't look like her unless they change her. Is Clint's wife? No. They better not. She looks like... Who is that? Can I get a, a full ca character list there? I like this group, though. I like this group. Um... I don't like Taskmaster. I don't like them at all. Um, I'm very curious on who this new woman is. Uh, Elena, Red Guardian, Bucky. Okay, that okay. So that's Val. Okay, that's who that is. That is Val. So she she's gonna be with them on. Well, she's gonna be leading them. So that makes sense that she's on the poster. So okay. And I would assume they're fighting whoever the leader in the service society. Maybe let me refresh the page. The cast of Thunderbolts all appear. Oh, they all came on stage. Yeah, yeah, she's filming. Um, oh, she did a virtual match. That's cool. She's yeah, she's doing Dune. That makes she's not there. We'll turn. Yep, yep, yep. Excited to see Bucky again. Um, ah, and yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Olga. Yeah, Olga was the. Uh, I don't like the Taskmaster. I don't like the MCU. I, I like Taskmaster. Comic book, video game, Taskmaster, animated series, Taskmaster. I don't like Black uh, Black Widow, Taskmaster. I did not like that twist. That reveal was lame as hell. Um, I did not like it at all. They started filming. Yeah, it makes sense because the film's coming out in a couple years. So, let me know how y'all feeling about this Thunderbolts crew, yo. I think a lot of us anticipated uh, this to be most of the group, um, and I'm here for most of them. Except for Taskmaster, I'm gonna I'm gonna be hopeful, man. Hopefully they can. I don't know what they can do at this point. Um, and and I'll be. It has nothing to do with her being a female. That has nothing to do. With, I just didn't like the depiction of what they did with the character. I thought that reveal was just so wasted. I mean, they went as far as to have like, if y'all don't know, they had a man in the in the in the suit for most of the film to really throw off the audience. Um, and like I said, it has nothing to do with her being a woman. I just didn't like that reveal, and I just I just didn't like it. The execution was poor. But hey, maybe they'll change my mind uh, with this film. Oh, uh, what, what did Tim say? Tim says, Tim Blake Nelson. You gotta love that name. Three names, uh, three first names is his full name. Says Marvel is part of the cinematic history, so to be coming back is an honor. As he replies his role as a leader from 14 years ago. Yeah, man, that is dope. That's so cool, man. He's a, he's such a great actor, and the leader is such a cool character, which is a Hulk character. Which makes me wonder, oh where, oh where is Hulky Hulky? Is he gonna be involved at all on these if, if, if any of these projects? Are the Thunderbolts gonna have to take down? Evil Savage Hulk, uh, you know, uh, Thunderbolt Ross, the actor Tim Hurt, you know, passed away a couple months ago. Are they gonna, you know, Red Hulk anyone out there? Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm excited for this stuff. This is exciting. This, and it make like I told y'all, man, like I said not too long ago, it makes sense that this, that they're announcing Captain America and then right after that, the Thunderbolts, because these, this is a part one and a part two, in my opinion. Now, they, we didn't get any Agatha news. I'm surprised about that. No Blade. Are they going to say anything about Blade? We didn't hear much about the Marvels, uh, Guardians. Yeah. We, are they going to be on stage for like another hour? <laughs> I mean, obviously, some stuff can be, they don't have to give us everything but one thing i was really looking forward to was filling this this map out y'all we don't we don't have any other announcements any new news from any of this uh unless like unless kevin feige ends the panel says you know those gaps well boom here's all those other things that we uh are gonna have planned for you guys in the next couple years let's refresh marvel has confirmed yep there's a leader he's coming back yeah we know that we know that yeah, man, I'm I'm surprised they they're not gonna give us. Well, again, I, this panel was supposed to end 33 minutes ago, so they're definitely going overtime, so, which leaves a little bit for. Man, I might have to. I had a I have a work appointment at 3:30. I might have to uh, not postpone it, but I might have to. Yeah, the <laughs> the Marvels is coming up next, y'all. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold on. I might have to call my client and let them know we'll be running a little bit late. Um, the Marvels is the final part of Marvel. Okay. And then, after, yeah, my, my appointment is at 3.30. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. 
we might have to end the stream a little. How far is that? Um, I'm meeting them up. I got to get ready to head out in a little bit. Also in 10 minutes. So I push comes to shove. We might have to end the stream at like 3.15, which gives us about 45 more minutes. 45 minutes. All right. Let's see what the Marvels. Nia DaCosta, Brie Larson, Aman Lani. Uh, there, there you go, uh, 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 Tyrion. There she is. There's Monica. She's on stage. Isn't she? Look at her. Look at her. She, uh, she, who is, is that? Okay, that's Nia. Was that Nia? Yeah, I think that's Nia. Um, yeah, man. Let's see if they give us some footage from that. Because that comes out. Let me pull up the, the map again. Oh, my bad, guys. I didn't know this was still on screen. Uh, but I need, actually, let me pull that back up on screen. That comes out July 28th next year. Okay. So they, I don't know. I know the film shot. I wonder if they're going to give us any. Oh, yep. It says, as they introduce first footage of the film. So, damn it. They're not going to show anything. I love Amon. I thought she was so great as Miss Marvel. Uh, Kamala Khan. I love her family. I love everything about that world. I didn't like the soup. The superhero stuff was the weakest element of the show, but everything else was so great. Tiana Paris is fantastic. I think she was great as Monica. I'm excited to get more from her as Photon. Nia DaCosta looks. Candyman wasn't the greatest. It, it was not a good film, man. But I liked her direction. She was very distinct. Very, uh, you know, she has a she has a style, and I like that about her. And I liked her first film that she did with uh, Lily James and Tessa Thompson. So she's a great actress or director. The Brie Larson effect. I know that there are people that do not like Brie Larson for her comments she made years ago. You know, everyone's in their feelings about that. I think she's a incredible actress. Brie Larson is like the Doctor Strange to me in the MCU. Like I, I those are two characters that I just don't like. I, I, I don't want to say I don't like, but I just don't. Um, I don't vibe with them as I do with other characters. And, and it's just the, the way that they're. And again, these are. Academy Award winning actors. And, and this is just my opinion, by the way. I know people love uh, Doctor Strange. I'm not a fan of his. But those characters to me are just too standoffish. Like their personalities, their their personas, their swaggers, their charisma is just not popping for me, man. I don't vibe with those characters. So I'm hoping this time around, because I'll say this, Doctor Strange 2, i still not a big fan of Doctor Strange, but I like him a little bit more now than I did in his first film. The best version of the character to me is Infinity War and his episode of What If. So I'm hoping that Am Amon Alani, Vellani, and Tiana Paris, Photon, and Miss Marvel can kind of boost up Captain Marvel and give her a little bit more things that I can enjoy more with the character. Uh, because again, that, her her solo film is very similar to Ant-Man and the Wasp. Those are like probably two of the least rewatched films of the Marvel Cinematic Universe for me. Like I've only seen Captain Marvel, like literally saw it in a the theater once and I, and I have, the, I have the whole collection of all the films. So, uh, I've only seen it like once at home. So I'm hoping that she gets a boost, uh, with those characters. Yeah, we got, yeah, we know the, yeah, we know the cast there. It's exciting. That's exciting, man. I'm looking forward to, to, to these films, man, as far as Thunderbolts and the cast taskmaster uh <laughs> i'm really excited also ghost man yeah to, to learn if she's be able to harness and control her powers more obviously red guardian i love david harbour in the role and him and his daughter elena um i love that and hopefully we can get more of that bucky that i miss uh that winter soldier man that's sad obviously i know he's a new man he doesn't you know he's not in that mindset what is this we have a full oh, okay this is just a breakdown of all the stuff so they yeah they're wrapping up here and they said they show footage, so we're probably not gonna see that footage, unfortunately. The panel is over. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the question, Nathan. This was a huge L. Was it though? Was it? We got our first, which I have so many thoughts. Oh, here's the Avatar stuff from my Avatar fans. I have so many thoughts about Werewolf by uh, Night. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch that on my on my television screen so I can get a better look at it that was very up my alley it, it, it threw me as you all saw the library i was very thrown off by because it, it was just like i did not ex anticipate that in marvel um i like secret evasions trailer the, the spy espionage stuff going on there um low-key season two i'm here for it and that was really nothing really too much bigger than that the thunderbolts they gave us that very excited for that very excited for captain america I'm very looking forward to the leader returning and obviously Sam Wilson and his continuing his continuing story. Um, what else did we get? We know Danny's coming back, Daredevil. We know about that. Carl Lumley's coming back. So, yeah, I want to say it's a huge L. I know a lot of us, again, 
we talked about at the very beginning. Fantastic Four, Doom, Deadpool. We didn't, I'm surprised they didn't give us any Blade news. Um, very surprised by that, actually. But, you know, listen, man. Time will tell. Time will tell. Uh, I think Coop, yeah, I agree with you, Coop. That, that, that to me, when they gave us, you know, all of this goodness here with the dates and the titles and all that stuff, and then, of course, this bombshell uh, of, of announcements of movies was pretty exciting. But, yeah, this one, at least we got footage, Coop. We got some footage, bro. You know, we didn't get any footage. Of, well, at least we didn't see it publicly. You know, the footage that they showed. You know, we got the Black Panther trailer at Comic Con. That was fire. That trailer was better than any of the trailers today. Um, yeah, Coop, you might be right, bro. You might be right. That that was better. <laughs> um, but takeaways again: Captain America, New World Order. The leader, Tim Nelson Blake, is back in the role. I think we're going to get some surface society. I think it's going to tie directly into Thunderbolts uh, for them to take on whatever the aftermath of that is. And I think, again, I think this is all – we're dealing with Kang. Don't get it twisted. It's still the Kang dynasty, the Kang you know, multiverse saga. But I think that there, there are little projects like the Thunderbolts, Captain America, Armored Wars, Ironheart. All that stuff to me is building up to – doom the doom wars i think they're really building this street level you know weapons tony stark weapons out on the streets i really think they're slowly but surely building up to doom being behind a lot of this this stuff and i think the rumors of him being in wakanda forever probably has a lot of weight to it but who knows um uh, but like i said I, i'm loving the captain america announcements i'm loving the thunderbolts cast minus taskmaster uh but i'm hopeful for that uh werewolf by night really threw me for a loop the I like the tone that we're getting from Secret Invasion so far. The only thing that makes me nervous, six episodes to tell that big story to me is it's kind of uh, underwhelming. But again, we got to see it first and how they execute it. And, and don't get it twisted. They're not going to just end the, what is this? A live action? Oh, I don't care about that. Um, oh, they're already beginning. Okay, we're getting that 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 uh, uh, Avatar stuff. But uh, I lost my track of thought. Um Thunderbolts, Captain America. Oh, Secret of Agent. Don't don't get it twisted. They're not going to just tell just six episodes of the story. It's going to be a continuous story. They're going to continue to show the threats of the scrolls in the, in the MCU. The Marvel is going to be a tie up to that. So that's the only thing that makes me nervous is that six episodes. But I'm very excited for that. Um, and they show what kind of footage that we didn't see. It was apparently about them at the UN and them opening up their markets of vibr vibranium. Uh, they showed Ironheart, which is just her interacting with her MIT teacher and a little bit of footage of Red Hood. And yeah, was the Star Wars stuff better than Marvel this year? That Mandalorian, that Mandalorian trailer was fire. That Andor trailer was fantastic, man. Am I more excited for the Star Wars stuff that we got today? I'm, I'm, I'm. Listen, at the beginning of the day, I thought Marvel was going to just completely wipe Star Wars. So I would say it's about even because that trailer of Mandalorian season three and that that Andor trailer was wee. That was good, but yeah, the announcements for today was eh, a little underwhelming. Uh, yeah, yeah, Avatar four has begun filming. But gun film, I thought they already am I tripping there? Didn't I thought I thought James Cameron shot? Oh, what am I talking about? This is part two. I'm tripping. He shot two and three back to back, and now he's shooting four and then five, probably. Okay. I totally leaped frog over three. So yeah, he shot two and three together, and then he's shooting four. Yeah, this man is a this dude is a madman, yo. That's crazy. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, that, I, th I don't think that's a, a surprise here. Stephen Lang on returning on Avatar. You can't keep a good Marine down. Yeah, I think when they first showed that first trailer, there were some eagle-eyed fans that did, like, you know, pause every frame. And, then, and someone said that's the same dog tags, the same, like, cut that he had. So, yeah, that's not a surprise to me. I love Stephen Lang, so I'm glad that he's back. And obviously, he's an Avatar. So, like, because it's been so long since I've seen Avatar. He died at the end of that film. Well, Apparently not. Um, or they're dealing with clones or something. But didn't he get stabbed in the chest by like a sword? Didn't one of the avatars like throw a sword at his chest and kill him? Goose, which I don't want to keep. Okay, that's cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how they explain how he came back from getting stabbed in the chest by a big ass sword. <clears throat> no trailer? They're not going to give us a trailer? No, come on. 
Sigourney Reaver plays one of Sully's. Huh? Sigourney Reaver plays one of Sully's kids. What the heck? What does that even mean? Did she? Did she die in Avatar? Hold on. I gotta rewatch Avatar. I guess. Is that her? Why is she playing a, a child? Only Jim is crazy enough to have me written as a character. For me, I, I, I guess she died. Because um, why is she playing her character again? I, I got to revisit Avatar, which I will, which I will soon. Um, oops, I'm sorry. I got it on the small screen. Let me bring that up. There you go. <clears throat> okay. She's playing a new character. Yeah. yeah he's, apparently, she's playing Sully's kid. So it's like, how is she going to be like, she's going to have an, a, 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 a voice of an adult, but the appearance of a kid. Okay. Only Jim, she says, <laughs> would write her in. All right, cool. All righty. Oh, and isn't Kate w uh, Winslet? Sc scenes in 3D from Avatar being shown. I know that's cool. I guess we're not going to see it then. Womp womp. Um, but yeah, I think Kate Winslet, which is, that's cool, man. Kate Winslet, she's coming back. They're teaming up again. First time working together since Avatar. Rewatch Avatar on the channel? Okay, Travis, you might be on something, brother. We might have to do that come this holiday season. Or before, because it comes out in December. So, yeah, we might do a watch along for that. Good shout-out to Travis with the good one. I also have to – yeah, let's do it, y'all. Let's do a rewatch. Let's do it like a week before the film comes out. Just kind of refresh ourselves. Um. All right. I think – yeah, yeah, Kaylee. Only six episodes. Yeah, that's why, that's crazy, right? Um, Secret Invasion. But I think they're gonna. There's gonna be more. Like I said, it's gonna. This, whatever happens in Secret Invasion is gonna carry over to the Marvels and carry over to other projects. So it sucks. It's only six episodes. But you, listen, Kaylee, them episodes will be at least an hour long, right? <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Don't give me that thirty minute crap. Um, no trailer. Yeah, man. No trailer. No trailer. Are you doing a thought? So Coop, I put out a poll yesterday, bro. On uh, should we do a watch along for Thor Love and Thunder? <laughs> I, I I had it up for like two hours and it was like four hundred votes and seventy percent of y'all said no, thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, that that's that answers my question. Um, and and yeah, you know I did I did we did watch alongs for Doctor Strange for Batman. Um, and I want to do watch alongs for all the Marvel films, but apparently y'all didn't want to watch it, so I don't want to torture y'all if y'all didn't want to. I'm gonna I'm gonna rewatch it myself just to kind of see if it still lasts or still holds. But um, I don't know, cool. We we might have to we might have to reschedule that because, like I said, the the, the the community said no, nah, no, thank you, I'm good. <laughs> uh, and, and plus, I don't even know when I would fit it in, Coop. I'm telling you right now, bro. I got so many videos. This next week is. Um, it's crazy, man. I got to film my Woman King review sometime this weekend. Uh, I saw that yesterday. I shot my review before I went to go see that for The Barbarian. Uh, I got a couple screeners. I, listen, Coop, between me and you, bro, I saw the first episode of Atlanta season three or season four, and I they gave me the first three episodes. So I'm going to watch episode two and three probably tonight and probably do like a non-spoiler review for that. So keep it. And then plus I got to prep for the actual breakdowns because they're premiering this completely different conversation from Marvel DC. Well, not really because Marvel owns Atlanta uh, FX, but they're premiering the first two episodes of Atlanta this Thursday. So I'm prepping for that. I have a movie screening on Monday for um, Pearl from a horror fans out there, the prequel to X. And then I have another screening on Tuesday for blonde. <sighs> And then She-Hulk Thursdays, you know, live streams. Then Sunday night, I got my uh, House of the Dragon. So it, to say the least, Coop, your boy's going to be busy. So I don't even know when I would even squeeze in at the a lo lo Thor, Love, and Thunder watch party. But maybe we'll postpone that uh, for another day. But anyway, a lot of good stuff coming. A lot of good stuff coming. Uh, I know you're – yeah, listen, listen, uh, Meg. The embargo, I think lifted. Yes, I can't really talk too much about it. I saw the first episode. And for any doubters of Atlanta season three out there, you're going to want to watch season four because they're, number one, they're back in Atlanta. And uh, number two, the episode's fantastic. I'll just say that. Uh, I know you're – yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very, 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 very much excited for Atlanta season four. I skipped uh, – I skipped – stepped away – uh, your day that I hear Avatar watch alongs. Yeah, Maxine, we'll probably do an Avatar watch along before the film comes out for sure. Mark your calendars. 
I think it comes out December, right? So we'll probably do it a couple weeks before the film comes out to kind of refresh yourself because I definitely need a refresher. Oh, yeah, watch party. Some of us ain't seen it. Yeah, I, kidding. I'll be 100% honest with you, bro. I th when was the last time I saw Avatar? I, randomly one night. And I didn't even finish it. I just put it on randomly. I think when they were like, when the announcements were coming out, they were doing two and three back to back. I was like, let me just pop it in. Or not pop it in. I have it on, uh, it's on Disney Plus and I was watching a little bit of it. So, but to sit down its entirety, I haven't done that in a while. So we definitely got to do that for sure. Um, e is a busy man. Sounds like we need a, I need a, I need a, I need a scroll, uh, Tyreen. I need a scroll, bro. But yeah, man, I, I do it. I, I couldn't be, um, uh, couldn't be happier with all the great content we got out there, man. So I'm I'm excited to cover all that fun stuff in the in the coming weeks. I was all right, all right. I'm gonna put it in my calendar, watch along. Hard as uh, I wouldn't say that, man. There's some some Tyrian great content creator. We got a lot of great content creators on the on, in the chat today. Uh, so, but I appreciate it. Uh, definitely some 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 great content creators out there that bust their ass that do so much more than I'm doing here. Um, but I appreciate it. One day, uh, Meg, this is this is a part time thing now for me that I definitely want to turn this into full time, and I'm I'm trying to do as much as I can now to make sure that that, that is a a thing that could be brought to the forefront in the coming, hopefully, in the next year. I could do this like straight up full time. That's that's my goal. Final season of Atlanta is coming next week. Yeah, on the fifteenth, uh, September fifteenth, this Thursday. So yeah, keep keep an eye out for uh, episodes one and two or, or Thursday, and I um I can't wait to talk about it, Tarian. That first episode was fire, bro. <laughs> so oh man i can't wait to talk about it more and i'm excited to check out episode two was <laughs> uh all right let me refresh this one because that's like i told y'all i thought um i didn't know we were gonna last this long um what is this oh percy jackson oh, i don't really care about that uh okay the marvels focuses on three heroes as they keep trading places with each other every time they use their powers and must team up to fix their problem that's interesting Interesting, interesting. I, I mean, again, for spoiler for Cap for um Miss Marvel series, the post credit scene, she activated her bangle and it she swapped places with Brie Larson, Captain Marvel. So that's very interesting. They're gonna be every time, damn, that's crazy. So every time they use their so are they not gonna be sharing? I'm I'm assuming they're gonna fix their problems so they can all be on screen together. But is the first half gonna be them just swapping places and going from planet to planet and wherever they are. That's crazy. Okay. I'm here for it. I'm very excited to see what that film has offered. I mean, I hope that that's not like all they're doing. The whole film is just trying to figure out why they're swapping places. That's, that sounds like a TV episode of something versus a, a two hour film. So I hope there's, I know there's going to be more to it, but right now that first, I guess you want to call this a tagline, not a synopsis, but well, it says the Marvels focuses on the three heroes as they keep trading places with each other every time they use their powers and they must team up to fix their problem. I guess it's trading places storyline. Um, but again, I know there's going to be more to it than that. Like, who's the villain? I think the scrolls are going to be involved in it, right? So we'll see. I'm excited for it because I like Nina Casa and I like this cast. Um, and I'm really excited to see Miss Marvel, uh, her family again. I love that family. Uh, but yeah, I think that was, was that the last little thing that we got here, ladies and gentlemen? Yep, I think so. Um, so I'm going to get ready because I got to go to work, uh, for, for a little bit. And then the rest of the night, I'm going to probably shoot some, some short videos for, uh, Barbarian and, uh, the Woman King and get my review ready for that. Probably full review for that coming next week and like i said guys atlanta season four is back so look look out for that blonde movie review pearl uh she hulk thursday live stream and there's like so many i got a this is a netflix film i'm gonna be watching soon and a couple other things man so listen your boy got some content for y'all coming soon to share the leash all right y'all i appreciate every single one of y'all that been here for the last I say three hours. God damn. For the last three hours. And you know who you are that's been here from the beginning all the way to the end or anyone that popped in throughout. I appreciate all y'all. Again, thumbs up, share, comment in the comments for the replay gang. And uh, let me just read the rest of these comments here. Crazy that this is only. Yeah, it's crazy, Maxine. I, I really put a, a lot of uh, time and effort in this channel, and it's showing because the channel is growing, the community is growing. So that's 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 awesome. So um, the journey continues. The journey continues to make it full time. To make it full time. Nice. I'm going to try to full time 
you inspire me. Yeah, I appreciate it, Meg. Uh, you inspire me as well. You're doing some great stuff here. I hope you can get a full time near the future. You're doing. Oh, thank you guys. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, that's interesting. That that is links. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I really don't care for the premise. Yeah, I hope. I hope it's more to a coop. I really do. I think there will be probably some. Yeah, like I said, Katie, yeah, definitely something with the swirls for sure. Uh, how I want to go turn back, Captain Marvel. But yeah, and like I said, a continuation of uh, um, Secret Invasion. Appreciate you doing E stay the entire. I appreciate you, Tyrian. Like I said, bro, we got. I shared the link. Uh, maybe you were busy or whatnot, but we got to link up, Tyrian, uh, especially with Atlanta coming up, bro. So definitely want to uh, uh, chop it up with you on one of these streams one day, my friend. All right, man. Peace out, Kenny. Have a good one. Uh, awesome, awesome. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, see you, see you. Uh, you, my friends, in my head, y'all. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Peace out. All right, y'all. Have a good rest of your Saturday. Uh, Tomorrow, House of the Dragon. Get ready for that. And so much more. You guys have a great Saturday, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace.